have returned to where we left off. It was getting a little... Uh, well, I don't even know the word to describe it. I mean, is there a word in English that can describe this particular party? Legendary? Badass. Um, okay, fair enough. Both of those work pretty well. <laughs> Dylish. Lunatics. Yes. The lunatics, Lunatic, yes. Yeah. That works. Oh, Knights of Luna. Mm. Yeah, the Knights That's of the true. Lunatics. Yes. Um, where we ended, Adira had just finished receiving an order from Crimeris, the last one probably for a while, as you're not really intending to speak with them. Um, but up we'll to see. that point, you had uh, managed to <clears throat> uncover the secrets behind the missive that Phil had managed to uh, get for you, and that it appears to be plans to a reactor that is very similar to the Adira's Tear Sword that you forged with Merix uh, nearly a year ago. But much, much worse. But much mm. more... Yeah, yeah, essentially. It, it is uh, much more volatile, much more problematic. Adira's Sob. Uh, listen, out. not only is it worse because it's bigger and it will do more damage and it will tap into, you know, ley lines of magic, but also because it's not... Adira's Tear was in my control. Fair enough. This is now going to, no I, I am assuming to somebody who is in league with 66 and anyone in league with 66 must be so an evil person indeed. They have taken this <clears throat> and they say information that you two had. Yes. So if 66 were in league with 57... We're talking about what? Uh, Nine? And, uh, oh, oh, no. I was going to say. Oh, no. Melf, let me explain. Are they trying to do math? Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do that. All right. Have you said anything about the Eltharians to Melf? I've heard this term, but no. They... No, you guys didn't. You mentioned your ancestors killing you just elves. just weren't listening during that hour of Not the, my ancestors. Oh, that's right. Uh, a Marian, I was, uh, training montage. We talked about but Lennox. Yes, and that's true. Adira can mm -hmm. certainly tell you better than either yeah. of us could. So please, enlighten the poor man. When I was forced as a very young child into a life where I would then be put in with the Eltharians and indoctrinated into their belief system, which I then rejected, mm. Mm. we were all forced to go by numbers. It's a way to remove identity. Also stops those pesky scrying spells. Mm. I'm not a number. I'm a man. Okay. The lower the number, the higher of rank, the older within the... within, ah. And generally the more powerful. Yes. And out of thousands now, hundreds of we thousands. are now talking about number 57 and number 66. Which, if added together, are one hundred and twenty-three. <laughs> no, 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 no. Are one hundred and twenty-three. <laughs> Something else. Or one, two, three. Something so else. Perhaps, right. one, two, three. Yeah. So perhaps oh, there is clever. Some... <laughs> nice. Something else about uh, fifty-seven. Fifty-seven one, is also two, known as three. Baron Fifty-seven, who is the current quote-unquote emperor of New Iltheria over in Thalagrant. Mm -hmm. Baron. 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 I like the marketing. Baron 57. His whole shtick is that he is not the emperor. He is merely the baron who is running things until uh, sure. the baron of that Yeah, time. okay, yeah. now. <laughs> He's kind of like Count Dooku. That guy's going A little down. bit, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. Uh, you're okay. spoiling the brand. Now, if only somebody would take the crown and fight against all of this. Gosh, who would that be? Uh, I don't kid? believe, anyone, I mean... Anyone know? Yeah, uh, I've got a, I mean, I've got got a royal elf here. I have a supporter here now who does not believe that the crown should be the bureaucracy behind the good will. I, I was I Do was you see what is happening in your other world but, who would cheerfully put the crown on? What's your problem? I don't want a crown? The no, crown. no, but what I mean is it doesn't mean anything. So, sure. so, so, so uh, Lohal, an autonomous collective. Lowell opens the flaps of the tent and he, he shows you the entire like the keep and the camp and all that stuff. All of these people are fighting under the banner without the crown. Why take the bureaucracy? They are led by inspiration, by choice, and oh, not by some it, some was... figurehead piece of because material. Because the rest puts... of the population is being controlled by somebody who is 
taking Jer as emperor in an absence of any real leader. So Why did you decide not to take the royalty? There were others who could take my place. The lineage continues and someone wears the crown. I just felt there was a different calling for me. Aha. There are others. There are other Lin Vander that can take the crown. Are there? Where? There are. You got a backup? They are scarce. I have no backup. There is another? Um, there is a group of twins way over on the other side of the camp, and that's about it. Yeah. See, I think the thing uh-huh. to me, what I get from... Uh, another. <laughs> yeah, what I get from V here is, is that there's a value to the brand. That again, yes, the people who are following you right now do it, but the brand is well established. People know it, uh, and it has power throughout the society. If you just leave that, then somebody else can pick it up and start selling new king or whatever. If it's abandoned after a number of years, Mm -hmm. then absolutely they can come and take it. I've heard of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Whereas if you take it then at least like again it's not just your local followers it's the whole nation who's following Lo- Lo- the- like stares at Merrick's and looks over at the rest and says we do have a mission to accomplish correct oh yeah right yeah but you've got, you've got the motto and everything. Blame Josh, isn't yeah. that the one? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> although, although, also, aren't we done? I mean, I thought we came here to decrypt a piece of paper, and we did. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, we are not done. No. Oh, as, as, oh, yeah, you need our help to previously established, do the whole only thing. an archmage could overload the reactor. Right. So oh, he right. at least has to stay Okay, here. you got to stick around. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm here. Although, we'll although overloading the reactor may also require manipulation of various uh, bips and bobs and levers and Well, files. no, absolutely. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry. I forgot that this thing is being built and it's bad we're here to help i don't even know it if it's being built it you know it may have already oh these are built? instructions no this instructions is, this is on how to do it that were being sent from this location to baron 57 so, so what you're saying is it's not a theory but it may not actually be built yet is that it correct? it certainly has been built by someone it, it it has been derived as being efficient and perfected enough to send this over to sure. the empire Likely for mass production. Ah, mass so, production. So yeah. this was going from sixty-six to fifty-seven. Yes. So it was going upstream. Yes. Right. Okay. Upstream. So we gotta so, we gotta deal some, with something 66. else. I should clarify that so, Sadira and Loholt would know is that after the breaking of the empire, all of the I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. Went all over the place, and so now, basically every warlord in Crimeris calls themselves one, and okay. they have their own numbering system that works from them. 66, mean, being that he still kept his number, would imply he's with 57 in the new Iltharian Empire because they, as a whole, have agreed that one is the emperor and there is currently no emperor. But all the other warlords are all in, vying to be the new emperor, so they have their own numbering system. So the, the numbers are a bit skewed, more or less, but mm-hmm. you could be pretty certain that 57 and 66... From a marketing are standpoint, <laughs> you, you need a new thing for your resume, overloader of reactors. Uh, okay, but I do have a practical question here. So we've established what uh, the Saab here is supposed to do, mm-hmm. and um, that it would be disastrous for it to be done. Uh, do... Can we tell because of the effect it would have on ley lines, uh, can we tell if we think one has been activated? Like, would it, it would explain the veil? It would explain the uh, cloud of veil energy that has been detected above. Oh, uh, no. Which is why right. I've said repeatedly, but everybody wants to discuss going home already, no, no. that we need to invade this particular stronghold and yeah, in yeah. the interim also... Deliver justice to 66, right. who has likely built or been present in the building of this machine, now we know. They have and already. then move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have already no, built one. They I'm, built one. It's right. here. No, I'm, I'm absolutely 100% on board. The, the piece I had missed until we did this thing was the fact that he's got one of these in his keep. So, yeah, let's go do it. We must also be vigilant in the fact that perhaps the instructions that we have here aren't the only set of instructions. Mm-hmm. Well, he can make another for sure if he could make one. So you know. So what I'm saying is that even if we do sack the yeah. keep and take out this 66, we must make sure that in destroying the keep we. Oh, in other words, find... we have to stick around in case there are any more that need to be overloaded. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't have a problem with that. We no need minster. to make sure we need to make sure that more of these scrolls weren't sent to others. For sure. Is this a like a magical reservoir that stores energies? 
for use? Is it diverting it? What is what is the purpose it's of probably this? Probably feeding it to the veil, is it not? So, Merrix could explain alongside yes, okay. it. And, and, and what is the, in, what is in the purpose of this? Terms. Okay. And then, uh, so there. what it essentially would do is it takes the mana surging through the ley lines, mm -hmm. takes it in breaks it down, converts okay. it into a raw form of energy, which in yeah. the document is listed as IO essence, mm -hmm. okay. and then uses that to feed the energy out to whatever is connected to it. Sure. And then as that energy is burned and consumed, it is exhausted out as veil energy to then empower so its strength the So we're fighting utility I mean, it's, company. A, it's a great idea. When, when magic... If it wasn't destroying magic. So it's yeah, when it's when a wizard when magic. a wizard okay. casts a spell, they pull the mana from the ley line, got it. use it, and then okay. it just sort of recycled back out again. Right, this right. Destroys, destroys the mana, it, got and it. Right. it. So you okay. know, again, as magic, you know, it's some against this. Yeah, you know, yeah, okay. it's it's a bad thing. It's a cool idea, though. I mean, I like the principles. I'm definitely going to be thinking about and this. And the principles <laughs> yeah, behind those who use Renick for good, at least, but also even within the Eltherians, they just don't understand, I don't know, I guess the balance of it and also how to do it without hurting people um, or they don't have the desire to do it without hurting people. I was about to say, people. yeah, I think they understand That's really what it is, <laughs> is that they are trying to preserve the veil by destroying magic. So they, they will destroy magic users so that they can dispel it into this essence that goes up into the veil. Okay. And I believe that mana is the life essence of most living things here. But the pro yeah, the problem is by doing that, they are ridding the world of magic, There's which is why I'm so upset with my. Well, I call him my the my patron at this point, or yeah, I, think I mean, that's a fair because I this, can, this can be done well instead of just saying, "Oh yeah, just let them destroy the whole world." Who cares? Okay, all right. So That's we got to storm a castle, is what I understand. <laughs> um, That's what it all. Knock is. out <laughs> sixty six. Yes. Yep. Shut down. Overload a reactor. Uh, right. Execute sixty six. Execute sixty six. All right. All right. Yeah. Right. Is there a, perhaps Star a king reference. or someone who is like giving us the legal authority Maybe to execute perhaps. him? No, no. Uh, no. I mean, so <laughs> can we execute him without a appointed leader? Who or is, would it just be uh, murder? Would just be murder. I mean, if there was a king uh, no, no. or an emperor <laughs> no, no. who could give us that authority. Uh, yes. Once okay. my scouts have returned, we'll have definite understanding oh, as mean, to what to we're up to face. Wizard. It's just unfortunate collateral damage. <laughs> Speaking of which... Um, your scouts specifically have not returned, but the uh, a diamond skull slink has just sort of appeared in the door. You say slink? Yes. Is that his name or a job? Job. Oh, hey, they're a slink. Yeah, I think that's a good job. My lord. <laughs> Gabriel sends news. Not himself. Him and Embrauri and Raff, as well as Roessa, are still maintaining their positions outside the stronghold but they have given defensive details and an intriguing piece of information that I think you would find most interesting. Speak. Intriguing. May I enter the war tent with your new... Where, where, where did they come from? Do not ask questions as such a thing come. Uh, all right. Speak freely in front of them. They're as trusted as your master, Gabriel. Surely Speak. you can't be serious. No one trusts Gabriel. <laughs> Speak, please. <laughs> that was code. That meant be careful what you say. <laughs> well, it would appear that uh, the stronghold is very uh, strongly defended. There are Renic constructs, mm. there are uh, soldiers, a small army. Um, and the patrol routes are dangerously efficient. It is uh, one of the most well-defended strongholds in the entire contested realms. According to the report, uh, Gabriel believes he could easily take it all by himself, which leads us to think it is one of the most strongest and <laughs> impenetrable fortresses to ever exist on this side of the ocean. Disintegrate. Hopefully. The stones are even uh, mortared with Renic flaked uh, um, oh, oh. Putting these guys in there is going to be a bad idea. There is, however, an alternative that is suggested. Um, 
They have noticed that within the region, not that far away, very nearby in fact, is a kobold tribe active in a cave system, which is particularly odd in that the Otharians have not wiped them out. In fact, they seem to be thriving, and yet they also, being territorial as kobolds are, have not bothered to antagonize the Otharians, it would seem. Not to mention, it is indeed curious that creatures which worship dragons are very nearby a known dragon slayer. Something is very fishy. Kobolds. Diminutive and weak, but dastardly cunning. It's very well documented. Only a skilled dungeon delver, one who has spent their entire life avoiding traps and monsters, could possibly navigate through any sort of den like that. Anybody here? Oh, sure, yeah. I've had some experience, Delvin. Sure, traps, love them. <sighs> Kobolds that aren't pestering the Otherians, do they have some sort of leadership of intelligence that's speaking to them, perhaps? Well, we haven't been able to get any eyes on the inside, but we can be certain that they're not working against the Otherians, which leads us to believe they may be working with them in some court. I'm with you in the fishiness on this one. Yeah, let's there go is chat. something that is not adding up here because we have a dragon slayer. How far away is the kobold lair from the stronghold? About half a mile. So okay, so there could hmm? subterranean. Uh, there's some sort of this thing is. Uh, here's what I'm assuming: uh, this device that was built from the plans and Merrick's tell me if you think this is correct would it make sense that this could be built underground and hit a mm. hit a ley line oh yeah and would they be able to have somehow co-opted these kobolds into doing a lot of the labor they're small but they're pretty good burrowers so perhaps they've constructed this this area and they're being handsomely paid kobolds like dragons but they like money as well and I, power I agree with that in principle but I think yeah. that uh, V's on to something here of if you consider the fact that you were saying your dragon didn't seem really concerned about this, that's I interesting. I told him there was a dragon slayer, and he said, just leave it. It's strengthening the veil. Come back. And and you said something earlier, like this guy is known for worm slayer axes or something, which first off, I like he's got a Brandon instinct already. Yeah, worm hewer. Worm, worm hewer. hewer. That's interesting. And so the question to me is, either on the one hand, you could say he's such a badass dragon killer that he's managed to convince the kobolds that he is cooler than a dragon. Well, fear. Possible. That's tyranny. Or there is some sort of actual alliance with one or more of these dragons that I'm, he's somehow... That's what I'm side. thinking. And I'm thinking that I may know the dragon he has an alliance right. with. But then if that was the case, why would he send me here to try and figure out what was happening you, if he you, already knew what was you happening. You seriously think that he would, the Crimeris would have dealings with 66? I don't. However, it does not add up that he would send me here to find out this information. I find out information that is possibly threatening to him. It's a good th hypothesis, but I, this was granted to right. me. But you know who knows an answer? Who? Cobalt. Yeah. I'm just kobolds. saying, we're theorizing what are the who the kobolds working for? And I'm like, but, well, there's a way to find out. That's true. If you really wanted to brand this, if his name was Hugh, it could be Worm Hewer, yeah, right? With yeah. Little, right? Uh -huh. I think maybe we could. Uh -huh. So we could work with this. Okay. Okay. I do find though that the clever names like that, mm. you always end up having to explain Worm Hewer, but U G, it can end right. up being mm -hmm. kind of awkward. Every time you get to a website, right? Yeah. But it creates discussion, though. And no, it's. I mean, yeah. It, I, I I like your instinct. Uh -huh. Uh, so shall we, you know, small group of people trying at least uh, infiltrate, maybe capture? We would definitely we had about five people that could probably get in there. It'd be the biggest group That's I'd be able to probably would make that. Yeah, That's five sounds good. Where okay. would we find five people? Uh, stupid enough. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go back to a private There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. Oh. Do you know Drizzed? I've heard of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you could bring him along next time. Oh yeah, but. If only he, he would travel up here, we he could get him to play. He brings his cat along. Oh, you know, yeah, I'm allergic. Just, All right. Uh, you know, <laughs> okay. Hangs out with dumb barbarians and dwarven women who aren't really dwarves. How do you say it? Wait, drizzit? 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 Drizz
Yes. Um, and Adira is also recalling her own memory, the other plans from before. Yes. The machine is made from what material? Is it Renick? Renick. God. So, in that case, could I not um, follow the trail of the Renick in some way to make see like if uh, I was getting near if it wasn't in a land surrounded by soldiers wielding it uh, war machines wielding it strongholds melded with it probably okay but I think it was worth a shot <laughs> I think your basic principle it's probably subterranean they're probably working in some form with the it makes sense. Well, I will say tunnels that are, exactly exactly there when Dream of the Blue Veil was cast you did witness a lot of scenery of Amaria those being the ley lines shooting up into the sky and running deep beneath yeah. the earth. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're all for, you know, there's I, probably I, a back door. This one is of, one of those is a lot theory. easier to get to from yeah. the surface. Yeah. I will say that neither of you have actually fought Ethereans that weren't exhausted and ambushed. Yeah, that's true. You've seen what Adira can do to magic. Sure. Mm-hmm. An army of them against you would be hard-pressed to get one of your fireballs off. So, first of all, so I mean, fireball. appreciate that, kid. So but I'm also, you haven't really seen us fight when we aren't exhausted or, you know. That is true. Just, that is true. I'm now, just giving you hints. That Having said that, this is why we're talking about let's go after the kobolds who are okay. not Rannick wielding crazies sure. and sneak under <laughs> instead of an open attack yeah. against yeah. the <laughs> army of anti-magic The stuff. great legends of the realms. Uh, yeah. Instead of facing the big monsters, we go for a, a, a huge, a a huge army taking a frontal assault would never be able to defeat this strong. Right. But if we had just a few fighters that could sneak in through a trench yeah. somewhere, we could probably find that exhaust port yeah, that's one exactly. meter by one meter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll yeah, need a right. cowardly line. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, but also be like shooting one. Yeah. I look to the uh, to the to the uh, uh, slink and say, "Did Gabriel give all of the locations as to where we need to go?" Of course. In code, he said you knew how to read it. Is it a parchment? Is a yes. Take the parchment. Okay, uh, you're gonna have to bleed on this one again. I think. Uh, <laughs> sorry. That it's a common code used by Gabriel. It is everything written down exactly how it should be, but interspersed with "You're an idiot." <laughs> it is. Uh, it is uh, almost accurate. <laughs> okay, I'm back later. <laughs> so I will. So I will. Uh, I will convey the information as to where we need to go. Yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be like tunnels. Cobalt's traps. It'll just be like a vacation. It'll Absolutely. be like, you know, kindergarten. Take me back so, to so where where first grade. Yeah, first really first level, idiot. excuse yeah. me. Yeah, you know, those were the days. <laughs> no? Do you know it? Um, let's go ahead and make sure we hew some 10-foot poles. You, you gotta look. So I have an can... idea. Okay. But I want to do this. Okay. But I have an idea anyway. But we don't have a workshop. Right. Oh, there I'm is no Reddit workshop. workshop in the resistance against the the Eltharian Empire. Yeah, now, sorry I mean, about that. I've got I've got some Smith's tools here. I mean, I like, how Reddit big a workshop do you need? Like you could use the other Smith if you don't mind forging. We could, you know, we could Reddit toss up a portable hole I don't, here. I think this is going to take a, a longer amount of time, and sadly, we have to do this, and this is very important. That's fine. But I was just curious, and as I was listening to you all, you know, rattle on about nonsense. Yeah. As usual. So um, yeah, we do. If there was a way, where there's a will, I want there the link to go away before I say anything, my lord. And actually go. So they kind of fade into the shadow, and then when he says that, you just see them like run off. <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> I want to be a slink when I grow up, Mom. <laughs> this could cause harm to me or people like me fighting this. Mm-hmm. But I wonder if there's a way to reverse engineer. That's where you come in. I'm, I'm liking already. The way that Rennick hmm. uh, pulls mana, like the magic. And instead, you can use magic to disable like Rennick. I like where she's going. Like yeah, yeah. Like I if we don't take, like take it. Take the dampening effect yeah, and somehow yeah. make it a But a temporary effect. dampening effect. Yeah. So that we could maybe do like double damage with this? Yeah, I, think yeah, this yeah. Is I don't good. like it okay. because like it. obviously. You right, know. but we're fighting a thousand people like you, and uh, it would be nice to have something that was dangerous to them, is what we're saying. Perhaps yeah. involving. I mean, lines it, it, and, otherwise uh, they may be unbeatable. Uh, can I. Do an arcana check to see if I think this is like. I'm saying with this machine, if we find the machine before destroying it, we. 
Got it. Oh, yeah. right. All right. Right, but right. I don't want to take the whole veil down because that would be no, no. That's terrible. bad. Oh, that's bad. We know that we we already just did a thing to get the veil back up. Like I mean, it was a year no, ago, but you know that's yes. not a lot of time. Now Wait a minute. What was the device that we're using in Chronos to do the exact opposite? Uh, it was an eternal eclipse invention. Oh yeah. I mean, we remember it's that a combination of Eberron technology and things yeah. from the far realm. Sure. I mean, Far Realm, that's the problem. That's that's not stuff you can just easily just come by. Okay. Plus, Eberron, I mean, I could work on it, but I don't have dragon shards here or anything like that. It would take a bunch of trips. And but we Mr. luckily C know there doesn't Yankee like that. with the ship. And <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I don't think a bunch of, right. of trips back here is going to be on the table. Well, this is, <laughs> you know, we can obviously keep talking about this for a while, but yeah. the we can talk about it as we're any, walking. Yeah, yeah so we, we will begin our. Okay, yeah. I would assume at this point we will begin our conversation. It was just an idea. Begin oh, trucking. I think it's a great idea. Begin trucking. Bum, bum, I love it. Bum, 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 yes. We're off. <laughs> da, 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 yeah. Now, the important question is. <laughs> Yes. Uh, well, are you mounted? What Wait. steps? How are you? How far is means this? we have the clap. Yeah, how so far is it? It is uh, <laughs> at least over a day because you have to kind of return back to where you mm. were. So it's going to be uh, about a, about a, a day, one uh, half a day's march, resting for the night, and then another half a day to. Uh, that's not or so. terrible. That's it's not too far away, but it is a good distance, and that's a full tilt. Soon to be emperor, perhaps so, you could just sleep you in short jump on this train you can, now. You could just <laughs> good job. You could sleep in short rest. You could just. Uh, I think his gr- your like grace. get us some mounts. Yes, yes, yes your grace. Yes. I suppose I'll, I'll have you. the silver sword provide some fine steeds. You are provided some very fine steeds, oh, uh, fine uh, steed. horses Indian that have been steeds. manicured specifically yeah. for fast riding. Nice with noble bearers. Good. We would. Uh, I would like a few of of uh, some silver sword to join us, so they can take the horses back when we disembark and go underneath. Okay. It's too expensive to lose those resources <clears> against <throat> the empire. Shining knights in polished pale plate, gleaming upon the. Uh, Do you have any? On the nose. Do you have any flammable oil? Oh, they have tons of that. Yes. Oh, so could we perhaps get each have three? I think that's reasonable. Sure. Well, yeah, the alchemist fires. No, this is oil. Well, if you have Alchemist Fire, that'd be great, too. Alchemist Fire is a bit more rare. Okay, well, we'll just take three oil. So oil. Does everyone have uh, a way to start fire yep. quickly? Okay, great. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, <laughs> press digitation will usually do the trick. Yep. You, like, mm-hmm. who, who are you talking to here? Uh, just, I'm, well, there's the, those here. Um, oh, Amber Fang didn't want to listen <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Perhaps bringing some... Uh, ten foot poles should be fairly oh, easy. Oh, I have a few of those already. In my, Great, in my excellent. How about? Uh, I've got a hundred iron spikes, five hundred feet of rope. Great. I How mean, about you know, some, it's a dungeon. Some, some flour, a <laughs> couple bags of flour in case there's uh, something that we that can't. So, so, so no, just about about that. Yeah. Like, Oh, I do have a lantern of revealing. Oh, 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 that's so. particularly helpful. Okay. You've traversed many dungeons before. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, and a, and a bag of clay <laughs> marbles, hopefully as well, and some water skin. Good water skins. No one alive could survive that many cobalts and traps. (laughs) Chickens? You ever done the chicken? (laughs) Drowned chickens? Oh, that's actually. It's, it's I a little knew. awkward because holding them in the bag of holding, they can't into breathe. The yeah, so you so what about a mirror? But, uh, I, if we were closer, I, I'd say. I, I think we there should. Was, remind me again, man. how many dungeons like does Lowell Fried Chicken instead? Yeah, how many dungeons yeah. of yeah. the Dirt Trooper? Probably there, there was, uh, like maybe uh, someone I knew of in the world when we were doing this a year ago. And before that, probably not many dungeons as well. And he would just force orcs to walk in front of him. His name was I do not even have a dungeon here to ask for We just evolved into a dungeon. So, so orcs, uh, orcs, yeah, we just having a good your time. World? Well, he was not of a goodly sort. What about that, yeah, that little bouncing ball full of? Oh, I do rats. have a Dungeoneer's pack. Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised by that actually. Oh, so it has all of those things in it. Maybe I just get it <laughs> and, now. And the ball okay. bearings too. Yeah, that's, that's yes. makes that makes sense. a lot more sure. sense. Here, take this. It's in a handy. Uh, Thank you. I have a mirror. We've been marketing mirrors these are good. Where I'm from, you have a mirror. You know, this is quite handy. Yeah, of what trapping. No, just a mirror. Oh, no. That's so that he can do his, quaff his hair, but it also works for looking around corners or it's fantastic you know, deuces say, or things of that nature. House Ganeth has been uh, putting together a wide variety, you know, the, the Explorer's Pack, just mm. Smith's Tools. The fact that you can just go into a store and say, give me Smith's Tools, and they will give you exactly what you need in a handy package. Tools from House Ganeth. 
<laughs> I don't know what would be even Hashtag more nothing. interesting. You know, Crimeris if, did say. Is if you could simply call out in some way and have them delivered to your quarters. We're going to work on that. Okay, we're working is, on that. I will say, Crimeris did say that you were not allowed to, trans, to transfer, to come here. It didn't say nothing about packages. Oh, well, right, that's right. true. <laughs> and also, I would like to really point Poke out bear. it said nothing about us going anywhere and then. Coming yes, back. I'd love to see Eberron. Sure. And, and are you from Toro oh, as well? Uh, Greyhawk. Greyhawk is another, another, another world. world. I would love to see Greyhawk and Toro. Yeah, anytime. And I would love to lay before you the banquet of all of our interesting foods that you could take back. And. And I, I'm just telling you, we've been doing this Bindin's Folly. Uh, it's like a little drama, crystal drama, yeah. sort of inspired. You know, I mean, the fans would love it. Like, having the two of you actually show up, like, you could do a few scenes. I mean, I was already reaching that. for the pop cord earlier. I should I, love to see this place you taught me about last time, too, this candle keep. Oh, yes, yes, that'd be fun. The avowed, you'll get along fine with them. Yes. <laughs> they yes. got candles. Uh, uh, Very impressive. Uh, yes. And, uh, and I can sorry, we're like, we're like they walking still. They've got candles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, okay, great. Uh, <laughs> shall we, uh, shall we, shall we give us a go bomb? description. <laughs> They've got candles. How primitive. <laughs> what is this medieval technology? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming, uh, so as we're walking in, like, uh, yeah, so so I'll ask Melf a lot about Greyhawk and learn learn a little bit more about the world of Greyhawk. Engineering and all yeah. that, yes. Yeah, D- and Dungeoneering. Um, uh, so you're traveling on horseback, uh, and you hold up for the first night, um, kind of setting yourself the fire and everything. I'm assuming you're doing your... The second night doesn't yeah. give us any trouble? We're talking about the Silver Sword here, right? Short the rest first night and sleep. needs to... No, the, no, okay, never mind. Then, you got one. When you awaken, I short, I short rest and sleep, so that the we are... Yeah, so I you watch at all times. So what is I'm it not like, sleeping. Well, I do have you're a question for Deer about this, yeah. though. What is it like to be an elf, even if it's just for four hours? It's amazing. Oh, wow, that would be an insane feeling. It yeah. would be so weird, right? Um, Elves are one of the only races on Amaria that never actually dream. And they never really get to experience the dream realms and the nightmares and everything in between. So they are sort of... Uh, I feel a like for apart. Adira, that is a relief. Because when her mind is not being invaded by a, a dragon while she sleeps, uh, it is being invaded by nightmares of her life and troubles and everything she has been through and uh, to be able to just sit, meditate and get the rest that she needs without having any of that happen is it's actually quite nice I do like being human though Interesting, I mean you're probably one of very few on this world The transitory nature of humans Well, you know How short their life is, just like a mouse or I mean, I know you got Mr. Well, yes. in here or something like that. Yes, so, you know, I understand. I mean, frankly, I'm just uh, still, I guess, a, a, a youngster amongst you guys. But, you know, I'm working oh, on transference a into a years. golem body or something. I mean, oh, I think nice. there's got to be some options yeah, here. Sure. As you have finally reached the location designated on the map, right where it says, here, you jabron. Um, <laughs> it, <laughs> yeah, the silver sword rear up the horses and begin to cart them back to the camp. As like you said, they are, these are two valuable resources to just let tied up somewhere where they're going to get stolen or killed by bandits. Horses. Um, just up ahead should be the location of the cobalt den, according to the map. What is your approach? I well, how Thank about uh, I, I, I think Merrick should be selling something for the discerning kobold. I mean, <laughs> we don't want them to know we're here. <laughs> that is a good point. Do we? What do, what do we know about kobolds? So, uh, you would know. Uh, we can make a history check to see how much you actually sure. know, because there's there's a great deal. Ah, I'm gonna. My history up, check is way. nice. Ooh, Fifteen. So twenty five for me. <laughs> Mine is a seven. <laughs> so Lowell, do you have a fair bit of information? I think a lot of this would come from your experience as a sage. Yeah, Uni, I had them as well. Yeah, picked up. Yeah. Um, Early you years. would know that uh, they are their their origins are swaddled in mystery. There mm-hmm. there are not a whole, there's not a whole lot known about their creation. Although there are whispers that they are in some way related to not the elder dragons necessarily, but the other types of dragons that roam the surface, uh, as they do seem to be quite attached to them. Usually, wherever there are kobolds, there is dragon. Um, so the term where there's smoke, there's fire is often ubiquitously. Uh, 
cobalt also dragons, connected yes. with where there's cobalts, there's dragons. Mm-hmm. Um, they are diminutive. They are very usually a weak uh, and cowardly by consideration, but they are crafty. They are able to create uh, some of the most deadliest traps. And they are known. Yes, and they are known that uh, to no matter how strong or powerful or great or heroic someone is, all have fallen prey to a cobalt's trap. So, and they are fiercely territorial, and they guard their dens. So, if they, if they see us, the zealotry. Warren will know immediately what's going on. The entire, yeah, they they usually have um, like small tunnels and crawl spaces that only creatures of their size could scamper through, and they're very quick. So, word passes quickly about uh, anyone who traverses into their periphery. Now, curious, just yes. a couple couple questions about your cobalts, because uh, you said that they like the the common dragons do they revere the elder dragons i mean do they so have any i would say that they just two completely different some things? knowledge you know is that it appears that the elder dragons and the kobolds have never quite okay. gotten along because this it is believed, previous question well it is believed that the the, the surface dragons the sort of the the traditional mm-hmm. type dragons are were originally antagonistical to the elder dragons. They were kind of desi- they were kind of arrived to combat, and so if the cobalt's working antagonistical? for them, yeah. So the cobalt's working for the surface dragons would be ill aligned hmm. with the elder dragons. So uh, that makes more sense. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, but then the other question, I'm just curious. I mean, like the the most badass sorcerer I ever met uh, was a cobalt. Do your cobalts? Do sorcery, or are they just trap yes, boys? They, do. they okay. are Good quite in tune with mana, so on one account will be quite fair. So why are they destroying the to mana? Be destroying it. Yeah, yeah this, is the, this is we got to find this stuff. This is a conundrum. Out. Yes. Uh, so we how would you like spell. to approach? Yeah, we could just turn everybody invisible. It's a pretty simple yeah. thing to do, other than uh, you. But you're badass. You could, you know. I mean, uh, you um, normally, can't really. Mm, I don't know if I would want to be turned into. Right, I'm saying Normally everybody. Normally, the companions but, that I but. travel with, we have a few scouts to go ahead and then guide us through. Sure. As you can see, he goes. Well, yeah, a little bit All not right. stealthy. <laughs> uh, well, I'm I'm certainly happy to. I'm stealthy. Invisibility. Uh, you know, then I have you greater visibility. Well, there you go. Just because you're yeah, invisible doesn't mean you have invisibility in a radius, or do we all need to? I can, oh no, this is a, a, a self thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying regular. I can I can do a couple of us. Okay. So yeah, Fine. I can totally do okay. both of us if we wanted. Great. Um. Yeah. So sure, the, we can we can all go invisible if we would like. Yeah, to. you can totally do that. Thank you. Hmm. And then. We can try to be stealthy beyond that. Sure, why not? Sure. For me to accept an invisibility spell, I would have to take my armor off. Correct. Your armor cannot be invisible as it is made of runic. You could keep your your blade sheathed, which would keep just... the sheath invisible, and that would work. Because um, the handle itself and the hilt is not runic, but your armor would not be able to be invisible. All right. But we're just doing like a scouting, a quick little scouting mission here, yeah. I think, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so I mean, I think it's I think it's impractical to believe you could be invisible the entire time through and never be detected. Yes, yeah. mm-hmm. I could cast the greater invisibility on her, and that's all items. Not oh, red. that w- that could work. Is that even so? Minute? Greater invisibility would basically like um, like cover your. It's not like your body. It's like kind of surrounding yeah. you yes. in invisibility, which would work. Yeah. I mean, you can if if you don't think. I mean, I I am pretty stealthy but that doesn't mean anything when I roll dice <laughs> do, do you want this milady do you think this is a wise tactic probably at this point it doesn't sound at all sinister do you want this yes I do I'm still going to I'm right. still going to stealth while being invisible all right. so yes so so greater invisibility on you sounds that's what I'm worried about with him um, can you invis yourself? Because I can. I, I, I can invis okay. myself if we need to. Uh, I'll go ahead and invis myself. Hey, you guys. Right. And uh, <laughs> so we're all invisible. Yeah. How do we keep in contact with each other? Then you can still talk. Okay. So, nice but we don't hey, know where each other are. Check it out. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, See, yeah. right there. Like, yeah. Understood. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. My question is: is the weirdest part, part, oh, weirdest part is that when you stuff. blink, you can still see. Yeah. You can close your eyes and be perfectly fine. You can see just fine. The question I have is. How do we know where we're all going? I'm following you. You're following a deer. How do you see us? 
I'll just step on the wizards. grass. <laughs> yeah, there's like little little divots in the ground. We're yeah. wizards. Or, Who's taking point? I can do it if you want. I got my armor up. Or, yeah. uh, I think the dungeon delver version. Oh, yeah. dungeon delver. Right. Sure. Yeah, there's a few. By the way, I'm I'll go in front. Um, I mean, I can then go next, because, just in case. Uh, uh, people I are worried about it. I'm good. You can. We can just tie a rope, wrap a rope around each other. And we care about greater that. invisibility no. would mean right. that the rope going to and from Adira I would be invisible. Be invisible. That's connected true. to Adira. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we won't do it. Uh, all right. So, I will... I'm, Pretty confident in my perception. I'll stick behind. Okay. All right. All right. So, do we see an, an entrance? You can make a perception check. All right. Let's see. Can I make a perception check? My dice rolling is also not that awesome. A ten. <laughs> Total. Total. But isn't passive perception? If I'm right like, up there your, with him, can I make perception? a perception? Uh, Fourteen. Okay. You may go ahead. Uh, I have a passive perception of seventeen. I can That's pretty darn roll good. It if you want. Yeah. But yeah, you can still roll. All right, well, let's take a quick look here. Uh, and that I noticed you guidance yourself, but not Mel. <laughs> hey, <laughs> really fast. Uh, that would be a 27. Okay, that should probably find it. Uh, so you begin to make your way uh, through the shrubs and the grass when Merrix, you have to put your hand up because you notice that several, within the, the scrub, Several saplings have been bent backwards and seem to be adorned with glittering sh- sharpened butter knives. Okay. Butter knives. Ready to be sprung forth. I mean, upon. they're inventive. you got to give them that. Absolutely. They don't like breakfast. Okay. Yeah. I also have survival, which would probably help. Like, that would help. Those sorts of things, too, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and we do need to, like... We can, okay. you can have like a whistle or something because you want to have a stop. You yeah. Know what well, yeah, because you're putting, you're doing this. Yeah, means yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> boom. Okay. Boom. Okay. Yeah. Boom. All right. Um, um, okay. So, yeah. Do we want to like be triggering these, or just, know, just go around? Do you want to just go around? Is there a way to is there a way to go around them? You could, yeah. You could pick your way around, right. find the areas where there's less of them, and and kind of make your way through that. Uh, you've now, as you've gotten through the scrub, you can see that there's a. Uh, sort of a cliffside, a small sort of uh, rocky outcropping and then there is a cave entrance there with sort of dirt and various things kind of patterned around the uh, the entrance. Patterned around okay, so there's some pits here too. Yeah. Marble, okay. marble uh, time or uh, I'll just, what do you want to go I'll with? just use the I, I got a spirit, I can probably just okay. prod. Because it, you know I've sometimes been drugged over, I'm, I'm expecting there to be a lattice work, a weak lattice work that, that'll that fall through. And this okay. is on the cliff side we're standing? This is this is the, the, the on dirt the, leading up to the cave. This is the ground the cave, leading up to the, the cave. Cliff, there's the, a cliff the, on cave the cave is ensconced within like the cliff side. Like you're uh, looking up from the bottom of the cave. I see, so we're going up, uh, basically, I see. Yes. Um, yeah, so poking around with your spear, uh, as you kind of move some of the dirt aside, yeah. you can see there are what appears to be small green caltrops. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, now is that Rennick? Probably. I'll do a detect magic real quick. Void. Yeah. So it's, okay. this is so, so definitely this suggests some They are definitely work working with them. I will pick up all the Rennick. You can do, but there's a lot. Uh, as you kind of move more, it's Ooh, it's like every, oh, yeah, basically candy. almost every Ooh, square foot, candy. there appears yeah. to be another one. It's a minefield. Yeah, that's a, that's, nice. I will that's just clever. start picking that's them up. My God, that would have sucked That for would you. have removed your invisibilities. <laughs> 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 yeah, I really would have. Good eye, Melf. Uh, Keen oven eyes. Yeah, so you kind of make like a trail. You're picking okay. up. This takes a okay. while. All right. right. I'm going to be collecting them in, in one of my pouches, though, because I can see a use for this. Why that's useful. happening? Yeah, I was just going to brush them. While they're brush doing that, side. I'm gonna just going to yeah. sort of look at the... I'm going to stay back and look at the periphery and just, like, I can see that the, the grass is moving and the things are being picked up and stuff, but mm-hmm. I just want to... Uh, wouldn't that remove her invisibility? No. No, she's not taking any, like... Offensive action. offensive actions. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm and, and she's got greater, too, Okay, she doesn't get... Yeah, uh, that's, that's, yeah oh, that's true. You have greater... The mouth of the cave, and then the periphery around that is what? Trees, the cliffside. So there was a lot of trees and scrub, but then leading up to the cavern is just kind of this loose dirt, which you've now determined is just completely coated in what appear to be rennet caltrops. Um, and as you make your way all the way to the end, what was your mm-hmm. passive perception? My passive is 18. Nice. Wow. Passive is 18. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Wow, okay. Yeah, uh, right. You'd like me to roll for it, though. As you're, no, as you're yeah. reaching for the caltrops, um, you start reaching a point where there is not dirt and instead lattice work. Oh. Ah, so this is a class. We go and right, I, and, right and about, just about, heard you saying we about be ten for this. feet away from the actual entrance to the cave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, reminds me of KS two, uh, the 
So, no. Melf, there's what? lattice work under here. Okay, so I'll go up and take a look. And is it does it look like a pitfall? It does indeed. Okay, uh, can I just kind of skirt around? Oh, looking for the keltrops up to the edge of this lattice work. And if I they're there, there, there are, yeah, there are none on the lattice work. Okay. It's kind of a right. Man, I wouldn't uh, have thought of that either. What a th- you good. I hope you can get this one. It's crazy. <laughs> so, hey, you brought an experienced dungeon delver with you. Did we ever? So going working around the edges, just does it expand the entirety of the it, yeah, cave? Yeah, so the entire 10 foot space in front of the entrance to the cave appears to be all lattice work. And there's no way around it? Dirt. Uh, you could jump it. This makes okay. no sense. Can't you just pull like, yeah, okay. the, the I mean, Yeah, you could also I'll, like kind of pry yeah. to see. Like, I'll go this. ahead and le- lever, lever it up. I'll okay. kind of take out a dagger or whatever. It is it a up. pit, uh, and you can see what looks to be iron spikes uh, okay. coated in some sort of substance. It's at least nice that they don't okay. get rainic everywhere. And can, I, can I tell how how wide the pit area is? Is it? It's a 10 by 10. It's 10 by 10. Because jumping 10 feet in armor is not that easy. No. Yeah. Mad magic users pull the earth up into the to the surface. No, you can't do that. I've mm. seen this done. Eh, I no. Not that seems like a waste of magical energies to question. To, I mean, we can just it. fly across this thing. I can fly. You over. He's saying okay. it's a waste of magical energy. Well, the magical energies are limited. I assume you're. I'm, I'm happy to, I'm happy to do some fairing, uh, You know. Or, there's there's not even a walkway on, on either side. It's a complete. How do the I will get say you believe that yeah. it needs a certain amount of weight. It's a pretty strong lattice, okay. so something that so weighs about as much as a cobalt I not see. trigger this. I see. Uh, yes, that makes sense. Um, all right. I'm happy to fly, folks. Across. How many okay. ten foot poles do you have? Oh, uh, I've got five actually. There you go. <laughs> it's a I mean, stack of why, poles. On yeah, I mean, what's the point of having a bag of holding if you don't stock up? Yeah. Uh, Why don't you, could you just probably, lay the ten foot poles across the well, thing? Like we could use some, in. we could use some rope. Yeah, and we could sure. make them into like you sixteen foot poles or whatever, right? So you got a little bit on either side. And Artifice. You, I'm just saying. Yep. I'm a genius. Yes. Then we send right. somebody across with a good dexterity sure, who yeah. holds a rope, and then you can each send me go. across. Uh, I appreciate this. Is I'm there at the some bottom, kind of crafting just check you need for this? To this or? chat, because I can't see it. I'm just listening. It's like, all I hear is, what's the sense of having a bag of holding if you can't take 10-foot poles out? <laughs> and, I, I, and then through the conversation, I just hear like a mister going, <laughs> 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 probably. Uh, do you need any kind of craft check for that? You're an artificer. I feel I like am. making a I'm, rope bridge is old. Yeah, yeah, I've got like, survival as yeah, well, so whatever. I'll your assist. proficient in survival alone allows you yeah. to know how to do yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we make an adorable bridge. Now, this does take time. Yes. Now, I will say, you though... You are still invisible, though. That, so. that we did make good use of a 10-foot pole. Inspiration. Uh, yes. Does anything carry over? Mm-hmm. Oh, is that one of the inspiration yes. things? Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Those of you who have seen tough crowd, this episode. Eh? Uh, yes. Tough crowd, Tough crowd. Yeah, tough crowd. It is a tough crowd. Yeah. You got nothing. Well, you know, it's like he's seen it before. Uh, we've even, we've even tried to like, come up with a profit scheme. I'll go ahead and I think technically head across that, the, that happened in okay. the future the, anyway. Well, um, no, did it? I think as an elf, you it barely even creaks as you walk across it. I have good acrobatics. I mean, you're wearing so elven chain, too. Elven chain, Basically, yeah. doesn't weigh anything. So yeah. really, it's just your shield and your spear. And that's okay. about it. Okay. So I'll get across, and then I'll take a rope, chuck sure. it over there, and then kind of... So they have something to hold on to. Yep. Two people anchoring it, and then the person with a good decks come across last. So. I can, uh, I can, I can hold it, and I'll just fly across it. Oh, well, there you go. I'll, I'll hold it until everyone else is across, and then I can just. Use it comes the hard down. part. Okay. You can do it. I mean, I can get across, but uh, acrobatics, please. Is he holding the rope and everything? Let him hold the rope. Give yourself a bonus. Hold the rope. Hold the rope. I'm holding the rope across. for sure. Give it advantage. Just give me a second. Should I just misty step? <clears throat> no, just save your spot. Yeah, why are you so spot? That. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. <laughs> You're so used to magic solving all your problems. You yeah, right. <laughs> uh, God, all right. I'm gonna roll. Here we go. Don't fail me now. Roll a crit. Oh, that's Ooh, good. That's an 18. Good roll. That's an 18. And you even have advantage. Uh, even so. advantage because oh, you're holding the roll. That's right. Just if you wanted to sky. 15. Yeah. 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 Right, so. so 18. Uh, just plus acrobatics, which is just basic dex. So. Uh, uh, 19. <laughs> ah, that's enough. You'll make it across. Oh, I can't believe. All right, all right. Next person going across, uh, you know, I got some tips here. Sadira. That's yeah. next. So I'm, I'm next? Yeah, so hang on. Hang on. So, you, so we melt uh, across. Let's just put, a across. Little, here, across? Put, across? put these little spikes on your shoe and let's give you <laughs> a uh, four. plus four nice. to your check. 
And she just put you. these little granite kelp traps in there. Be like, yeah, exactly. They'll be like, uh, almost like pitons or something. Right? Um, crampons. I'm going to toss this into the thing because I can't uh, leap yeah. forward. Beautiful die, though. It is a beautiful die. 15. Ooh, right. well, that will 19. be plus 4, 19, uh, 26. Nice. Oh, let me roll for my I advantage. Say, I was going to say, yeah, you, you make it look effortless. I do, but just in case. It's an after one. one. No, oh, it's an after I will one. take okay. the first roll. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Are you sure? You make it look effortless. I just needed just... to roll it so I could get that one. Oh, that's out cool. Of the way. It says RIP on yeah, it. Right? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Right. R1P. That's really that's clever. Cool. I is. love these dice. They're really good. Stink Who made these dice again? Is, is it roll, roll a crit. Roll a crit. Amazing. Huh? Look at the glitter on Shadowdale? Shadowdale, you got it? Well, here. I can't even reach the. Well, here. I'm taped so I couldn't lean forward. Uh, I can't. I can't move it. Oh, and now. Oh, so, so close. But 18. Eighteen, we'll take it. and uh, plus two on that, so twenty. You, you just shimmy across. No problem. Excellent. Nothing important. Boop. Yeah. Eighteen. Boop. All right. That's it. I'm an old man. I can't throw that far. <laughs> All right. Oh, and then I uh, sky staff. Okay. Why not? And uh, recover his. Uh, and I'll recover pulse. his ten foot pulse. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah in case anyone looks, them there, right? no, plus yeah. plus if anyone looks, we'd prefer. While they're doing that, I will turn to the mouth of the cave. I will not enter it in any capacity or form. Okay, and just divine sense down. I don't think you would get anything. No. Okay. You don't think? Not even like evil. It doesn't well, do it would, evil it would, it would search for outsiders. Mm. Speaking of jumping back to old editions, I wish it was detect evil. All right, so I, I obviously go on. what happens usually if I would go put a pitfall trap here mm -hmm. is if people expect that which they do then i'd probably about 5 10 15 feet in i'd have a trip wire with a log fall from the top so i'm going to look up above carefully and check for like trip oh you're looking at the ceiling handy. yeah <laughs> yeah looking at the ceiling that's that nobody ever looks at the ceiling <laughs> look at them and God. yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's not a log okay it's a curved boulder oh. <laughs> There you go. Yes. Okay, so just try to see kind of where the rope or wire, or whatever is coming down, if I can. But I'm yeah, obviously going to be wire scanning. mechanism up. <clears throat> okay. Where has he been all our lives? This would this would collapse and close off the entrance if it were to okay. go off. So I'll just take my spear and kind of like scratch a line, and then because you can't see it, right? Just yeah. say, hey, where the line is, high step over this thing. There's a trip wire that's just three inches, six inches, whatever it is, Something nine very inches. Very low, yeah. Yeah, pretty low to the ground. Just step over that. Oh. Otherwise, this boulder is going to whack you in the head. So, all right. And then step over it. and Very carefully step over the line. And proceed down carefully. Very good. Um, I'll walk the line. You have, uh, you have the sort of this, the, the, the cave opens into a natural forming corridor kind of coming down. And then you can start to see the telltale signs of chipped rock as things have started to be mined out in other directions. Uh, there are approximately three additional passages that lead off deeper down into the darkness okay and uh you also see uh what looks to we be see sort of like there's light it's coming in from the from the oh, outside is, the, the, is it the, getting the, there no, it is it is pitch dark further inwards but you can see kind of uh suspended from the top of the tunnels or like these wooden rafters almost like this sort of like maybe two foot three foot tall uh kind of hang hang down little wooden rafters that just the, just tall enough for them to pop out and take us out and to traverse the entire thing without ever touching the floor. Okay. That was a Ooh, massive right. hint. Well, <clears throat> it's like a catwalk. Well, we've, yeah, a series yeah, of I mean, we've already established the floor is, is laden with the trip wires. So yeah. This is how they get in and out without having to worry about it. Yeah. We can't go through those. So they're too Not small. unless you were very small in size. Yeah. We had diminution. I mean, yeah, could, if you, could, I mean, you could some of that, but potentially use magic to take. do that, but that would, yeah. uh, again, use your magic. <laughs> right. So the floor in this cavern is it's wide though right it's a big cavern yeah it's maybe 10 foot wide oh like, well the natural okay. the net well it starts 10 foot wide as the natural cavern and then it kind of comes out to this natural cave so okay. that's going to be maybe 20 feet in diameter okay. and then you've got like these three tunnels that are quite small you'll have to kind of squeeze through them okay. as they are designed for kobolds but you could sure. fit yeah i'm not huge but i'm certainly bigger than a kobold but yes by a bunch um all right well, yeah, you'll, you'll probably be let. You probably won't be that uncomfortable as like Low Holt and all his armor will be. He'll very, be very difficult. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna like not. I'm not gonna stop being cautious here because we're still pretty close. So there's probably something else here, and I'm thinking something from the side, tripwire, spear trap, something along those lines. So I'm gonna probably go over and hug one wall, in in kind of examine around the white right wall and just kind of proceed carefully. You know, 
carefully keeping forward, even to the point where I might just take out like a, a dowel rod or a wand or something that I'd use and kind of crawl along and just kind of hold it in front of me because it's dark and mm -hmm. my, my infravision isn't there yet and just see if, it, if a wire will press oh. on it like that so I can use my senses that way. Interesting. I never would have thought about doing this. Made a loose dowel. Yes. Made of wood. Okay. Uh, so, Jeez. so you said the right wall. Yeah, I went to the right wall okay. and then kind of went along. So you're that. moving down the right wall, which would be towards yeah. the one tunnel going yeah. that direction eventually. Um, as you kind of feel along the wall, um, give me a perception real quick. Sure. I, uh, I'll give you advantage because oh, both thank you. you, do I, have, yeah, you do have, I definitely can, need it. Can, you do have a yeah, definitely need it. Oh, an eight and eighteen. So I'll take the eighteen uh, okay. plus four, twenty-two. Being an elf, of course, uh, you are quite good at noticing hidden things. Um, now, this is stonework. It could be more of a dwarf's terrain, sure. but you still have that the, the, the dark vision, the infravision. You're able to kind of see a little bit better than some of these other people, which are going to have to eventually get some light sources going. Goggles but as you're night, running along baby. the side of the wall, you feel yeah, a slight That's indentation Okay. of ah. the, the, the distinctive feeling of a murder hole. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That's, all right. So that, well, that's important though, because that, you stop. Yes. Okay. <laughs> because you're going to give us a little whistle. Well, I'm, I'm not because if there's a murder hole that usually implies an observed obstacle so that there'd be enemy nearby. Do I know a bat call or a cave swallow or something? Make a survival. Uh, yeah, nature uh, check. Uh, 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 Oops. We'll even do it in here. Why not? A nice. 12, and I have a 4 for survival, so 16. Okay, yeah, I think you would at least know some kind of sound that would be yeah. a little odd Cave here, cricket or something. But yeah. not so odd that it would be distracting okay. to something uh, that would be watching. I'll give that sign, yeah, and then then give it again like two seconds later, and then, and then, then halt now. Examine is this. Like a, he's more fascinated by this. <laughs> hey, I knew who was coming when Gabriel I signed needs, this. <laughs> Gabriel, Gabriel needs to learn some lessons from these guys. We would have triggered... All of them by now. I know. <laughs> like I all of the traps. <laughs> I just played in Castle Greyhawk enough to what? know better. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you could yeah. be a professional slink here. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So, murder hole about how. It's the first room, everybody. <laughs> yeah. oh, God. God. About how large is the murder hole? Just large enough for what you could imagine a crossbow might be able to fit through. Okay. So, so I will. We didn't promise Crimeras. How long we'd be here? No, you Did didn't. <laughs> How high up is this murder hole? So it's a little higher up than you would expect yeah. something like a cobalt to be. So probably about waist high for a human. Okay. So they might have like a raised stool or something on the other Two side. Cobalt standing on each other. Could be or that, yeah. <laughs> Three cobalt in a trench coat. Yeah. Uh, all right. So. So with my. I have is my night vision kicking in yet? My yes, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna look across. Do I see like a murder hole in the op or close to the opposite side? Not not directly One, across. Two, three, right, so four, five, six, so rows. seven, eight, and I'll give you a bonus. because yeah. you look at the ceiling. Yeah, there are wooden slats between each of the groups okay. of murder holes that yeah. you feel like could probably drop. Oh, nice. So it can like basically seal off areas and then yes. create create a trap where you're stuck and you're getting shot at. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to, I don't see any way to, ugh, I'm not a, I'm not a rogue, but uh, hard to tell. Okay. So I don't know if there's pressure. Yeah. You pressure don't, yeah, that's the thing. You don't know if trip. these are, if these are like, they're looking through and when they see they would pull something. Right. Or if or it's a if pressure it's, plate. Yeah. yeah. It's, that's, that's what I don't know. Can uh, I see enough of this to disintegrate it all? <laughs> It's just <laughs> asking. It's the whole walls oh. of the cave. All right. And you could, so, you could pick so one. Whoa, 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 like, you know, I'm going gonna, gonna to walk back mm -hmm. and I'm going to yeah. kind of tap him yeah. right, right and just kind of tug back, and, but not make any noise. Like, mm -hmm. So so we're going to go back a ways sure. to the mouth of the, the cave of the area cave. and just explain, hey, here's what's going on. There's murder holes on either side. There's this lattice work stuff. I'm not sure if it's pressure plate driven or if it's directly observed. I don't know. Maybe a sleep spell, and mm -hmm. then just kind of cautiously work cool. through. Cloud kill. A cloud kill would be great. <laughs> yeah, that's a little higher power. No, you know, have you met this guy? Yeah, he is Elminster. I've aware of him. Right. That's true. I I thought you said your powers were slightly diminished here in this realm. They are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, if you know they weren't, you'd right. be cloud killing the whole. I guess. Team. I mean, yeah. you're still. Yeah, it must you're be still... nice being Elminster. That's all I can say. <laughs> 
if if his powers weren't diminished, he'd just snap his fingers and the whole place would be fumigated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good yeah. point. All right, all right. No, I, think all right, well, uh, I too can call forth veil energy to put them to sleep if we really need to. There may not be anyone any there. I didn't yeah. see anything. If my powers weren't nerfed, yeah, I just call on the symbol. And I'd say, "Go nuts, baby." <laughs> And then she, <laughs> when, when the oh. kingdom was laid waste, we'd say, "Now, was there a problem with?" I cast is? summon Lich. <laughs> so, so I'm just being cautious. Lich has. No, appreciate it. I, I'm just do being cautious. Wanna... We, we, we could do a sleep spell. We could do a cloud kill. We could do a stinking cloud, which would give give the gig up, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, cloud kill is probably, you know, what's the safest way? I'd say go into orbit and cloud kill them from. Uh, okay, but we got guys <laughs> on. We got guys on both sides. So potentially, yeah. clouds kill cover everything or do we actually How need sort of two sleeps hallway? uh so it goes between 10 to 20 oh well, yeah, okay. a couple, yeah, couple so sleep yeah, spells yeah. right i think yeah. a couple sleep spells would work so yeah if you were sleep sleep yeah, yeah. or one big cloud kill depends on yeah. how much resources you mm. want to spend up to you sleep 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 they sleep? save the sleep save sleep? Save heavy artillery so. if these are standard variety kobolds they're going to be super weak like a sleep spell will just yeah. f- take them all out yeah. mm-hmm. if exactly if and we don't know but wait 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 I'll now observe the area, because I know he's looking for traps specifically, but I'm going to look for any trace of Rennick Same. in here. Okay. Good point. In the in the dirt. I, I'll even grab some of the dirt and just like so the, the, sift, the, the, sift the, Yeah, the cave bit. mouth is sort of like muddy and, and dirty, yeah. so if there were pressure plates, for example, there would be no way to know without testing well, the ground, because the whole thing is caked in, in mud and but dirt. Detect magic? Dead tech magic does have limitations on what it can and can't penetrate. Okay. But that's what I'm saying. Am I hitting, uh, now that, you know, you're I'm not, not getting, getting void energy. Okay. Okay. Now, now that we're in it. the cave and yes. away from the stronghold that's out there and I'm in a more focused area, can I see if I can feel the Renic here better than it being The problem is that diluted. there's still so many Renic Caltrops behind you. Because it's, it's, it would be very much. bad. If we went and wasted all those spell slots well, to find spells. that they get countered or diminished in any way, I will say I mean, you, you need to know yours. the spell is coming to be able to counter it. You need to be able to see it happening. It's so true. if you're doing it yeah. from a place they can't see, even if they can hear it, if they can't I'm actually get about in, in there. the oh, actual no, but infrastructure, not if actual oh, I see. Because you have you have Renick Keltrops out right. there, smart guy. So uh, what I will do then is I will cast Detect Good and Evil at the lip of the cave and cast it out. Uh, does my spell diminish or feel weird when I cast it? No. Okay, so right, there's no, that means there's no Renick nearby in this area, but as I cast Detect Good and Evil and push it down the hallway, and uh, just to let you know, I'm going to walk with you so that if they are in the murder holes, I'll be able to detect them, and I'll tap your shoulder twice. There are things in the murder holes. Tap your shoulder twice. Okay. And then tell you. <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, we'll head, yeah. head back out to the Head back, yep. and we'll, yeah, where we can discuss on, in a low tones. Two sleep spells. Two All sleep right. spells. You take Let's left, I'll take right. Uh, you got that? You I'm mm-hmm. not too sleep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So, kind of creep up there. I'll be like, either side move up it. slowly. You know, I'll kind of, I'll, I'll make that same noise mm-hmm. again when when it's time to stop and throw the throw the sleep spell. Mm-hmm. So, go up to the spot where the first thing is, hole is. Make yep. the little cave cricket chirp or whatever, and uh, and then cast sleep on the okay on the right side. Do the same grip. thing. Yeah. All right. Will that kill their invisibilities? I'm, I'm listening. They will, yes. I'm listening to uh, kobolds right. talking to each other. Right. Well. Oh, make perception. I mean, honestly, at this point, we've been slow enough that we probably went out of the invisibility. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's What's with all the crickets? Let's yeah. go. We have taken plenty I mean, of time It to do takes this. an hour, but hmm. we've, yeah, we've gone back and forth. And, yeah. and forth. So, yeah, I assume at this point, uh, the invisibility is probably, probably, I think probably so, fading yeah. out. Yeah. But it was so much last time. It was good. Um, you hear a lot of crickets. Is it nighttime? Oh, I wonder if that's magic. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear this echoing <laughs> all along the behind of the... Uh, now, that's only for a short period of time. If it's a you minute. stop and listen, the sound of snoring kobolds, it's very peaceful. It is. Much like Spandemarks, we uh, all have a minute. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So line up against the uh, right wall, and uh, I'll, I'll go along, and I'll just, I'll just use my... my Spear to kind of it's go in front, but it's, it's a little faster, yeah, yep. a little faster. But uh, so it would appear that the slats were activated by mechanisms on the other side of the wall because you okay. do not find anything like pressure okay. plates or anything like that. So your your imagining is what they would have done is if you had walked in, they'd see you pull the thing, wood, yep. wooden slats, and then they just unload yep. crossbows. Um, 
And uh, I'll, I'll give I'll give this to you, Elmister, since you said you were like kind of like listening. Did you happen to want? To, I guess you don't have any kind of night vision though, and nobody else does, so that'll need to be solved. But since Melf does, yeah. I do. Do you want? When he you, has goggles at night. Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah, when you when you peek into the to the murder hole to kind of yeah. do this spell. Now, obviously, it's it's concave, so mm-hmm. you can't really see. It's like looking through a little tiny thing. But you do happen to notice uh, as you see, like you sort of the what looks to be a shadowy outline of a crossbow tip. With the glowing green bolts, oh. in it. Yeah, son of a bitch! All right. Uh, once we get to the end, I'll I mean, it appears to be that. coated in some viscous green liquid as well. Poison, Poison rennic. rennic. That's really nice. Cool. Okay. Yeah, these are really upgunned kobolds. Yeah. So somebody's <laughs> really well applying funded. them well. Yeah. Uh, okay, so get past the, the last. Yeah. So you move, and you're moving into that right passage. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Okay. And move to the right, and then take a halt once we feel like we're kind of. Past there, yeah, a good enough distance that you could talk without, yeah, the and just in whisper, kind of you know, whisper what I found the yeah. tipped green. You know, I, I just got to say, by the time we're done with all this, you know, once this is all settled, I got to get you to come and uh, help on some security arrangements uh, <laughs> back home. I mean, I, you got great instincts here. Uh, well, now what's ahead of us? Uh, this is the fork. Well, well, we need some. some yeah. Well, you've we gone down. You've gone down the right tunnel, oh, yeah. and it is pitch black for everybody except the two of them. Yeah. So that's uh, the first I thing mean, that needs to be solved. So, so quietly, you know, just talking quickly, and like I can't uh, see anything. Max. Right. I mean, we can make light, but is that what you want us yeah, to it's do? That's gonna give away every position. So, do we have any other option? Uh, um, I don't think it's, but that yeah. sort of says that we're yeah. here. Yeah. If only I had a few more levels in sage, I could see in the dark, but oh, I could not. Let me check something. Yeah, no, it's it's good for it this. Yeah, it mm-hmm. is. We could do dancing lights of fireflies. Mm-hmm. Well, that's still. Can you cast dark vision? That is a spell. Yeah, yeah I, I don't I, have it. I could if I. I don't had have it. The rest of that. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, if you had it prepared at the moment, <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I could as well if we needed and. Just pass around the goggles. It's pitch black. Yeah, cobalts don't need light. <sighs> If you want us to make a light, I can make a light. That's that's. Tricky. I can make light, no oh, problem. I don't myself. think making okay. light is the issue. I will say that fireflies. Those, yeah. those of you who can see, those of you who can see, you see that as you've gone down further, you've split into now four different directions. So there's just more tunnels oh, going in various directions. Yeah. All of it again with that wooden crawl space on the top, and you also have noticed little side tunnels every now and again that are like this wide, like, like crawl, super crawl spaces yeah. for them or I rats. Can go ahead of the others. Yeah. Okay, and they can come behind oh, with the light. Just yeah. okay. disintegrate the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we should be carrying light. Okay. Well, do you want to stumble in the dark? How do you want to handle it? Yeah. We have to be able to see a deer. Yeah, I think I think they just carry some sort of hooded. I agree. Well, hooded lantern agree. or something. See a deer. So I'll, I will. Uh, I will just take my cloak and I'll wrap it around the blade. So can we get dim light at least? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'll wrap it around the blade so it's like the white of the cloak, right? Mm-hmm. And then I'll just like. Night light. The light filters through the white of your cloak as sort of nice, a dim, almost cocoon like glow. So I'll say uh, your, your amber light is running at low amber. yeah. So I'll say your your light is running at half. So it's like 15, 15 ten feet? feet of bright and ten feet of dim. Sure. If I stay near him, will I be able to see with his light and then not emit more light myself? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you just need to keep your sword yeah, sheet. Yeah, your sword's right. come out. Yeah, okay. a you cannot turn papers. off the glow of a running sword. Go. Other than Check. expanding forty fifty feet in front. Yeah, sounds good. Probably not. Forty fifty feet in front. Yeah. yeah, and then yeah, and then you two can see just fine past yeah. the light. The well, three of us will stay yeah. back quite a distance. So there are currently four directions. Oh boy! Okay, we better. Yeah, we got a map. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crawl. <laughs> yeah, I didn't bring graph paper either, so. Yeah. Okay, so we got our entrance. This is great. He's actually drawing the map. Well, I'm just <laughs> I'm just gonna do a quick. Yeah, 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 but I hope we later get a, a shot yeah. of, you know. So we're going... We so, kinda, you, we, so there were three passageways, and you took the one on the right. Okay. And then you've gone down that for a good distance, probably for over like a minute. Okay. And then now there's like four different directions. So if I were to, to pace count it roughly... Four uh, different directions, so there's five tunnels in total? Correct. Or, okay. So four, uh, I would say you would have moved for maybe 10 minutes and at a speed of... Are we also nervous? Let's say you're moving right half now? speed, I'm so 15 nervous. feet. I'm so nervous. Per turn, so fifteen times six, 90, right? Yeah, ten minutes, nine hundred feet. Math. <laughs> He's making us do math. <laughs> All right, so nine hundred feet, and we're in a four-way essentially. Yes. Where do I have an idea of cardinal directions, or does really it? Well, he does. 
Okay. Yes, I yes, do. Just at follow all Elvin's buttocks. <laughs> We determine that wherever you can also make a survival check to try and determine the different paths. Yeah, twenty-one vision of Elminster's buttocks. So, uh, a couple things: Um, your keen Elven senses pick up the smell of uh, moisture, water coming from one direction. Uh, Another one. What can we? Can you tell me what direction is there so I can map it? So that's going to be to the far right. Okay. You get an acrid sort of scent coming from the way, uh, sort of to the to the forward right. Um, there's a little bit of, of a cold chill emanating from the forward left, mm-hmm. and uh, there is a heat emanating from the far left. Okay. So it really just splits off into like four mm-hmm. kind of fingers. Okay. What do you think? Um, heat, chill, water? I think start with the water. Okay. So far right, first one on okay. the right, yeah. So you head down and you start to, this, the scent of the water becomes quite palpable. All of you okay. begin to be able to, 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 to sense it. Um, and the tunnel abruptly ends okay. and there is a big pool of water that uh, with those of you with the dark vision, because the light still has some yeah, trouble yeah, penetrating yeah. because it's so dim, but you can see that it looks like the tunnel continues underwater. Shall we check the other Do directions first? Going? Yeah. I don't think so. <clears throat> Um, all right, so kneel down, smell the water. Does it smell brackish? Does it smell foul? It doesn't smell that. It smells like it's it's maintained quite well. Um, okay. If you want to give me quick perception. Sure. Or investigation. These things don't like to get wet, right? The reptilian. No, the, the water is good for them. Yes. Oops. Asking for a friend. I'm just wondering if we're doing an element. 21. Uh, you do see like shed cobalt scales around the edge of the pool, okay. uh, and it looks like it's it's quite nice. You would imagine the cobalt's probably it's regularly like traverse this. Okay. You, you feel like it's an underwater passage, like it oh. actually is a. Oh, so no soap flakes. You no also towel. can see like sc- cr- scratching claw marks at the edge of the stone where the where it meets the the water. So it's so like climbing out, out, climbing in. Mm-hmm. So do okay. you think that means we should go this way because it's well trafficked, and that means it goes somewhere important, or? Should we just go back and try a different path? I would rather try different things. Yeah, I just don't, we go I just don't want to yeah, Fair enough. try to swim halfway yeah. and drown or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. kind of a bummer. Go All right. Right. You said there was, a, there, was, a there was a heat <laughs> way as well. Acrid, acrid, acrid smell, chills, chilly yeah. or heat? Heat. Heat always. All right, so direct. far left. Okay. Heading to the far left for uh, a couple of, um, we'll say maybe a minute of travel. Mm-hmm. Um, you, the passageway sort of gives open to a massive ravine that carves through the earth. There is another side, a continuing passage, and on the edge of the wall, you can see that there is a stone walkway uh, kind of along there. And light emanates from the bottom of the ravine. And as you gaze down, it's almost blinding in the pure energy of far, far down, maybe half a mile below surges a ley line. Okay. Yeah, this is obviously not where we want to be. I think we should do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go back to the yeah, water. Yeah, go back to the water. And that's right. yeah. I mean, like an actual The, the heat is line? emanating up from the ley line. That's where and the there's a w- walkway to the, on the right side of the ravine? Yes. All right, so I, I would say go along this walkway. What do you think? Yeah. All right. Agree. All right. Uh, hang on just one second. I actually haven't bothered... Uh, to bring him out. Um, but I actually have around here a homunculus. Oh, snap. Uh, yeah. just a little ring- winged warforged. And mm. I'm just saying he can fly. He's small. Um, but I haven't come up with a good name for him yet. Yeah, you got a name for me? Anything? Name for a small warforged? Nat. Nat? Love it. All right. Brandy. Uh, that, so, um, I just want to check strong silent. <laughs> All right. Well, basically, if we need, if we wanted to, like, scout down there, mm-hmm. uh, we potentially could. What color is the light? Well, um, it's, it's but, ley line, so it's just sort of like almost pure okay. white. luminescent. Yeah, like, like, nah, I could go on. down. But I'm just saying. No, that's right. What too, but I'm just saying. If we just, I, I was thinking something small and sort of subtle. Rather than this has only been cool. about eight the minutes. Guy on Pegasus. Pegasus. Oh, yeah, I'm so. going to just detect the good and evil still around the area. 
Is there evil sources to, uh, below, down the cliffside? There is so much mana here. You are overloaded with information as it surges out from every yeah, direction. I'll, I'll drop the once. concentration on the yeah. spell then. All right. Do uh, I do I feel like my spells would be more efficacious here because of the natural? Yes. yes. Okay. Do I feel like if they did spells right now that I could drain for more slots? You might. Uh, that you'd be playing with fire. You could get way more than you bargained for. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to break my sword, so... Okay. So the walkway, how far does it go? If it's all lit up now, we can. I'll just let my yeah, sword blow Yeah, it's a about a 60-foot walkway along the side right. there. I think we go but this so, way. So the ley line walking. should lead us to the machine. You would think. Yeah, you yeah. would think. All right, so we'll, we'll walk it. Okay. Single file? Single you file. have to. It's, yeah. it's, it's like maybe... So the file would five be... Five feet. <laughs> if that. One, two, three... I'll take the rear. Four, five, yeah. Somebody, yeah, sure. somebody strong has Is to your be minis? Your minis? His grace no should offense. be in the rear, so it doesn't happen. <coughs> what will befall the realm? <laughs> in front of you. It's right in front of you. The mini? Your mini's right yeah, there. Yeah, but I have a, I have a different so, mini. Right there. there it is. Oh, it's right there behind it Continuum. Didn't see. One. In your armor, up the middle. I would imagine. Yeah, I'm behind. Eric's I'm behind. behind yeah. Mel. Two. Yeah. And then Adira, me, And then Elminster. Lowhold. Very good. So, uh, with Melf in the lead, then, yeah. are, you know, move, are you moving, like, forward? Or are you kind of side-shimmying? Are you looking down? Uh, how wide is it? Is it really that, that low? It's it's that not, narrow, like, sorry. it's not super narrow. You could you could walk facing forward. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's it's one of those, if you walk forward, you're looking, it's right at the, you're right at the edge of it. So it's, it's okay. It's, I'm going to walk, I'm going to be walking forward, and I'm going to be using my spear to kind of, Prod in front because there could be like loose rock work there. Yeah, you want to make sure the it, integrity is, yeah, integ is right. Yeah, or somebody could have greased it or mm -hmm. something of that nature, which mm -hmm. could be quite slippery. <laughs> Occasionally, every three paces, I'll stop, I'll look up. Is there something that looks like a boulder be placed really, really well to like drop on my head or something like that? Give me perception. Nothing obvious. I like. I will say. I'm going to linger back about 10, 15 feet. <clears throat> okay, uh, that nice. would be a natural twenty. Hey oh. Whoa. My dice are in fuego today. <laughs> oh dear so there's nothing obvious that you notice you do however start to see that the floor you're standing on is not attached necessarily to the wall uh, there is a small gap between the wall and the thing you're standing on as if the floor you're on continues further under the rock oh like there's a door that uh, is secreted Sort mm -hmm. of. He's similarly in appearance, although it's the entire length of it. Like, the wall seems to be attached just fine. Uh, you also see that um, there are little, like, kind of not... These wouldn't be murder holes. They're not big enough, but they'd be big enough for peepholes. Oh. Or darts. Poison darts, maybe. Uh, not even that. These not are literally that. just big oh, enough. Like, you okay. got a nat 20. These are just, just big okay. enough just to okay. look through. Oh, well, yeah, that was pretty... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, um, and uh, kind of further examination, the, the floor you're on, it is quite sturdy, but there is sort of a subtle looseness to it, as if it's not actually a physically attached to the wall, but merely... Dropped? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> like, it could be, like it could be dropped, like someone can watch you and they could kick out a support yep. that would drop not, the whole thing. Not necessarily dropped, but you feel Ramp. like it might... Ramp. It oh, might, just go in and out. Sure. Oh, yeah. Be more horizontal, yeah. which would be pretty funny. We could go across if the. Ravine. You were watching other people plummet to their it, doom. It would into be the hilarious. Layer. Yes. yes. Uh, okay, so do I notice a way to climb up and over this thing? Uh, so it's rough rock terrain. It's natural. Okay. So you could actually try to the scale shimmy, the shimmy, shimmy cross. You don't feel like there's any real threat to your person through these these little holes. Do I see how? Yeah, but they just pull a lever and ha ha ha. Exactly. Yeah. But yes. they can't uh, see you right now. Hopefully. Um, so, obviously, I'll uh, cover the we're looking. Yeah. Uh, well, it's bright in here anyway. Uh, yeah, it is very bright from the from the ley line. How long does this gap in the floor go? It's it's the entire length from the looks of things. Like, you can uh -oh. see, like, it seems to run the entire length of the... So, like, thing. like, I can't just... There's no way I can dash across this without getting dropped to my... It depends doom. how quick they are. Right. Do you want me to fly across? <laughs> yeah, this may, be, this may be a flying type, type situation. So... Uh, either a spider climb or a fly. Yeah, you, yeah. Because like I said, you could scale. It would be difficult. Yeah. You probably wouldn't want to I, fail I'd, that. Check. I'd want a spider climb it if I was going to do it. And I don't have spider climb 
uh, readied. So, uh, uh, fly might, might be the way to do it. If, if uh, yeah, I can carry him on my uh, sky staff. Yeah, I'm a hundred. I think that, yeah, I, I think pounds, he, he so. doesn't weigh that much, so I think yep. that should be fine. He's a skinny elf. They got hollow bones. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's true. All right, so I'll take him across. That's a, that's a great callback. That's wonderful. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, so I'll just be watching, looking at the floor where still this gap ends. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Down. You fly so all the way across. Is it? Does it eventually? No, it's it's the entire length. Holy crap! Yeah. Okay, so we get to the other side of the, like this. Yeah, cavern where, where, where it continues on past the ravine. Okay. Well, you could. All right. I guess. Perhaps uh, bring a horsey over. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Thanks. I'll oh, yeah, secure yeah. this side while you grab the other all dudes. Right. I mean, something like you might even be, if it is a mechanism like that, it's possible that enough pythons in enough spots could potentially jam well, the mechanism. I mean, uh, so true. We could do that if we wanted, because, I mean, we've got them just for that the sake would, of actually using that them. That would make a lot of noise. There. It, would, it, would be, yes. it would be a yeah. while. Probably, but, all right. Also, Flight. his uh, Pegasus would make a lot of visible. Okay. Well, not, can, not if I, not if I jumped down and then as I get closer to the ley line, bring it out and then fly across the ley line and come back up. And without fear. Yeah. <laughs> yes, fear. <laughs> Yeah, but then what? What do I do? I don't. I. I can. Oh, see, you're the problem because you got that armor. Because I was going to say I can ferry people one at a time, but I probably can't carry you. You probably don't want her touching that item. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't. This, I'd have to psionically telekinesis. You could do that. I mean, this I, just I don't know what the range feels is, like though. it could yeah. drop at any yeah. moment, but not that it is definitely going to drop. It's if they see us, they could kick it. Out. Could you fly right. and telekinesis invisible simultaneously? Not because oh, it's two different, two different, two different yeah. powers. Could uh, I fly? I do not know. Yeah, I could use a fly spell. Right. And telekinesis at the same time. And that way you won't worry about that. the range. Yeah. How long does your greater invisibility last? Good question. I'd have to check. Well, I thought I don't we feel so bad for not yeah. going. Oh, well, I think, yeah, I think, it's, I think <laughs> it's like an hour, so it would have yeah. worn off by yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it right. worn off? From all oh, the yeah, yeah, all the invisibility stuff? Yeah. Oh, so none of us are invisible anymore? That's correct. Right. No, we're not. We haven't been invisible for a while. Then I'm stealthing. At least. And hiding. Definitely have to be stealthy. I mean, there is... Because the, the limitation of them having such a tiny little people would mean that it, if you know where they are, you could just step over them quietly and they'd have no way to know because they can't... Right. They don't have That's peripheral true. sight. That's true. How far is it? It's just that they're so minutely small that only a be, you natural might, 20 you could might, manage to see them. Yeah, and you might miss them. Yeah. yeah. Do we know that there's anybody even in there? No. Because we still have more sleep stuff, and also, I mean, that worked very well. And you have your your sleep that isn't even magic. Well, it's 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 sage magic. It is still mana manipulation, but it's just through being a sage. All right. Would you guys uh, do you want me to fly you over, or do you want a high step? Um, could I crawl? Yeah. Like, 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 aren't like, like, are like, like quietly. You just say, it's like dragging a, it a, a yeah. metal trash can. It won't be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. never mind. Yeah, you're right. yeah. They won't see you, but I don't think they that's... won't see me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that'll be the problem. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, I guess this doesn't really get too quiet if it's dragging you across. No. The, um, all right. Well, uh, yeah, you could just I, you I angle can, off the I edge. Just I just step slip. over the yeah. holes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> why, why don't we just fly the people who can be yeah. flown? Yeah, you and fly. Then you, I will, st- you, I will stealthily step over the holes. All right. Okay. How much rope do, do we have? 50 uh, feet, I think. 500. Said. Oh, 500 feet. That's pretty oh, good. That's around. <laughs> Is it, I mean, could you tie her up? Could yeah, you, we definitely tie her up. Oh, yeah. I mean, at least get you tied. Yeah, we'll do that. You guys. Silk rope. You know, high quality. I'm it, just saying. That way, if there's... Do they have resurrection in this world? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah we she's got, human. She could probably be resurrected. Okay, okay, sure. Did right. you turn into an elf? Uh, no. No, no, no. no, no. Only okay. for sleeping times. You, yes. When, when, when I'm flown across, we're afraid that as she's walking... That are you flying would, across on his yeah. staff? You're just flying across? Yeah. Well, he's he's taking me across yeah, yeah. the way he takes. You yeah. left who, me with one end of the rope. Who's still standing at the... Because you're you're across. I'm across. So it would be you then. I tie um, the rope around my waist. You who listen for Cobalt Chatter hear Cobalt Chattering spell. Oh. F. Counter, <laughs> counter spell. Me? Counter spell. Yeah, counter spell. Huh. Uh, okay. Well, you can't see it happening. Uh, yeah, okay. Right. So I can't counter spell. Shit. What's he saying? Do I hear it? 
A uh, very high passive perception. I think you might hear something. I don't know if you speak the language, and though. As the, uh, well, yeah, it's draconic in the language. Of Here we go, guys. As, uh, as you are being ferried across on the Sky Staff, um, Merrick, you start to, there, there's some serious heat coming on behind you. Oh. Uh, and as you turn to look, you see that Loholt is wearing a suit of armor that is glowing red hot. <laughs> That's a reversal. As a guy who casts metal. Uh, metal, you do, however, take five fire damage before right. you can get that off. That's so, uh, as as so, what what you see, Melf, is as because you've never seen this before yet. As as you're fraying across, you feel the heat. You're like, kid, kid, you're burning up. Yeah. I'm like, I know, I know. And you'll just see like this cog of time twist, and and the, and the orb just goes and cools back into the same position it was just like a second ago. As I use one of the sage abilities, lesser reversal, which reverses an object, mm-hmm. uh, non magical, back in time. Uh, up to 24 hours. So yeah, I'll just nice reverse right. it to about an hour ago. When There's it's, a when muffled it's... cobalt swear word. Which one? <laughs> All of them in succession. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I believe, I'll say, we have been found out. Oh, that was a good trick, though. All right. Well, that makes uh, life simple. Sleep. Sleep. Sure. <laughs> All right. Come on. The problem with that one is, is that they will wake up and be aware. Please yes, give me a luck true. roll. Yeah. So, you know, maybe that was the time for Cloud Kill. Yeah. Okay, so now you got to roll late. again. What'd you roll? You rolled nine. So you got to roll start. higher than a nine. 19. 19. All right. Eight, oh. eight, eight, 18. Or None of the hell. falling asleep cobalts hit any of the levers. Oh, good. Oof. That's cheerful. Okay, now get across. <laughs> minute, let's go. I will run across. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're fine now. Yeah, there's yeah. no one to touch a lever, so you're good. They yeah. need to be killed inside there. Okay, you crossed your... Yeah. I mean... I, so are you how how kill? wide is the area in which they are? You don't know. You can't actually see. Like yeah. for all you know, they could be in a cavern. Yeah, it could just be a small crawl. If we had gaseous form or pass wall yeah. or dim door, well, he or could disintegrate the wall. But that seems like that's an exactly. excessive use yeah. of power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I have but my withering beam. I think we but, made like, a pass. I don't really want to use it right now yeah. necessarily, especially if I don't know the shape of where they all are. We have to do damage. We have to. They are going to wake up very quickly. We need to kill them because the other ones that fell asleep cool. were unaware of what happened. That's true. These ones will be aware of intruders and then the entire warns while we are in the middle mm. will be triggered. So, perhaps it is time to use some higher level ability. And quickly. Um, you have a minute before they wake up. Rock to mud. <laughs> Pass wall. What? what, you're gonna... Stone shape. No, I'm, I don't have any... Rock spells. to mud? I'm, you mean you're gonna suffocate them? Uh, no, that would you could make the you could make the wall, wall would turn into mud and you just go, go go step through it and then stick a spear in their throat. It's pretty easy. I just don't have a uh, higher level spells. I'm an eldritch knight mostly, so. Well, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm trying to be gentle here. I know. Don't be gentle. Know. Uh, yeah. The the. You know how I am, and you know what I believe about killing things. Mm-hmm. If these creatures are in league with 66... Uh, dear Quicker, I'm going to have to use Suspend. <laughs> Kill them. Cone of cold. Oh. Okay. Just like stick your finger in the... Yep. Yeah. Cone of cold. <laughs> we only need wow. one to question. That, that's... Uh, I mean, these are cobalt. That, that's They're cool. all dead. Yeah. Very, wow. very, very... Oh, man. Could have told us Eventually, when we get through, we need yeah. one. We need, well, there are now a lot of nice ice statues behind that wall. Well done. So immediately then turn forward where Melf is and look past. What do we see? There is further passageway leading further in. Six different ways to go. Six Holy different cow. ways to go. Yeah. Yeah. Seems these cobalt like to dig. I mean, it's pretty easy. You just, uh, you know, take number six. This is a huge choose your own adventure. <laughs> so six different ways to go. Perhaps another survival check as was done before to oh, not yeah. even the odds. I'll do one just because. I'll guide you with uh, Amber Fingal. Could Whoa. I do investigation? You certainly can. Oh, that was pretty high. It's really terrible. Am I? I'm not so sure. It's like a 13 this time, guys. Mm. A little less. Oh, I didn't get it. What is Amber Fing doing for no. me? Plus D4. Right over here. Oops, that's not a T20. Oh, here it is. Those are cool dice. Those yeah, cool I love dice. them. Um, so Actually, that with is that, a... it's not terrible, but also not great. 13. 13. 21 on investigation. Very good, Merricks. <laughs> <laughs> that was a crappy roll, too. You find that... Um, Humble brag. This is a very... like these All these this stone, this is all chiseled and chipped and, and hammered out. Um, 
But you see, you notice two distinct things. One is that there is a passage that seems to lead further down and follows the direction of the ley line. Two, there are very few signs of any traffic going in that direction. Oh. Whereas every other pathway has back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That would so make sense, So we're looking for the actually. machine, yeah, because they're not going to be... They're not going to go near that. Right. All right. Well, I think that's that's okay. our path. So which path is this? Which is that number, number six? This will be the far left. Okay. Oh. And I suspect that if they are go not traveling yeah. that direction, that means that whatever traps that might be there sure. are not are a lot less, yes. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's Unless they've trapped the it uh, because they're right. not Master? going there. Yeah. Well, Master? which is more what I think. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Oh. They've trapped it. If they're not going through it, they've trapped it so Probably. nobody else goes through so, it. So, yeah. So, I think we move at half speed, and sure. uh, I'll, again, be prodding in front with the spear. Okay, you find the tripwire. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, you find the tripwire. Okay. It doesn't I seem to be enough. rigged to anything, though. It looks like it's just designed to make you trip. I don't... Mm, okay. Interesting. Does it run through the wall, or is it just, like, hooked on the edge? It's kind of either side of just the... That's yeah. really so sort of could this be one of those, you know, oh, you have to trip the tripwire to, you know, make the pressure plate on the other side uh, not go mm. off? I'm not, that, I'm not sure about that, but... Um, it seems more like me that this would be a false tripwire to th make you think you've already tripped the real tripwire that's yeah, later. Yeah, exactly, because it it's not attached to anything. So, just kind of whatever. Uh, get out a piece of of white cloth from something or whatever, loop it around this thing, tie it off so you can't miss sure. it, and step over it. Okay. But I'm going to be additionally cautious because I think, the hey, there's a tripwire. There. It's obvious. What's the next thing is going to be? There either a pit or something to fall on your head. So, okay. So what, what is your method of checking? Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to prod with the spear in front of me. Are you, look pro up. Are you prodding with the the head of the spear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So because that uh, way, so with the clink stone, clink stone, muffled. Uh, sort of almost cloth like. Aha. Uh -huh. Like a. Okay. All right. I'll say, hey, uh, look, let's do some investigation and try to see sure. what this is. And I'll Here, point it I'll out. I'll give you a D4 of this. Oh, great. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, plus three. Oh, great. So that's a uh, 17 plus two, a, 20, a dirty 20. There appears to be a tarp mm. stretched out before you that is colored and designed to look exactly the same as the stone. Of course. Mm. Camouflage. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice pattern. But I will point out that it's not that you fit, you felt more stone, kind of like it's still mm. solid, like it wasn't right. like giving. Right. It's just that it is different from stone. It's very taut. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I uh, can I pry it up or is it like really tight, like you a train? Pry it up. Okay, I'll pry it up with a take a kind of okay. gaze under there and see what's there. You make a constitution save. Ah! No. <laughs> little, little poison. Oh, wait, wait. He's, he's within my, my radius. I would assume he's within 10 feet of you. You yes. gain plus five to this roll because Paladin's auras are broken. But he is. All right. So, oh, 11. He's not. You're at the back. Uh, he is not. Well, but we called here. people up, so I don't know. Oh, is we're it? not we're not single file yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, in which case, that would be a six, but my constitution is a six. A save is a six. So, that would be 12 plus... 15, 17, 17. Lowell Holt Matt. saves you from okay. the yellow mold that you have disturbed. Oh, the no. Okay, I've seen this before. Yeah, this is bad news. Okay. <laughs> As spores kind of flutter out. All right, now I'll, I'll say back up. Back, quickly back close up, back the carpet. Back, 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 back up, back up. Okay. Uh... Yeah, yellow mold. So is that not hopefully good. It's spored up now? Just a, it was just a slight puff because he only just kind of lifted oh, the corner, yeah. but that's all it takes to cause yeah. it to go off. Yeah. And yes, Stomp, one can assume the stomping, entire... it, stomping across it would be a great way to. Yeah. Hole, right? <laughs> is this cloth? The, uh, uh, is it necessary to burn walk it? over the cloth in order to? Sure. Back up, everybody. Let's just burn it. Uh, fireball. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the whole thing burns up, and uh, the yellow mold is instantly destroyed from the fire. Yeah. All right. Okay. Phew. I mean, I haven't got to cast one yet for yeah. two sessions. So, I know. You know yeah. I, I also, really when he's cast the fireball, I felt the energy like look down the exactly. yeah. hallways and stuff. And he... uh, doesn't seem like it. The only ones who've noticed you, you killed. So yeah, well, I'm just going to listen. Eventually, they'll get, a, they'll get noticed. But oh, hopefully. We're doing pretty good so far. Okay. Yeah. All right. Other so adventuring parties. I mean, thanks for some help. We'd, we'd be so dead. <laughs> tarp, <laughs> tarp was just... The tarp is all... I'd say it's probably also burned. And, but there's just there's four just underneath, underneath it. it. Okay, yeah. great. Okay, that was the question. Okay, yeah. then... Let's hope he's not as mean as the first game. The, put the a entire trap was next. the trip fall disturb yellow mold. Um, yep, that Remember totally that? makes sense. Remember okay. that? He put Obliviax against this last time. He sure did. Okay, so this is a pretty good, this is a pretty good trap, and it also says why people don't go this way. So I'm going to go ahead and 
we'll move. Yeah, there's really no way to avoid that without yeah, yeah completely that, veering around it. We'll continue right. to go down. So yeah, so yeah, I think I'm just going to accept risk, and we're going to move at a standard pace. Okay, go, going forward. That's okay because no. After traveling for just a little bit of time, maybe a couple of minutes, you start to notice something in the stonework. Veins of lazuline blue and crusted gold running oh. along the walls. And it looks a lot like a lot of it has been chipped away and pulled and removed from the wall, but there are still several veins of this stuff left. And it's beginning to open up into expansive amounts of tunnels that have been dug in all kinds of different directions, all running with this, these sort of veins. And... Um, you in the lead, Melf, you kind of just hear like a <laughs> intruders. New uh, new ones, yeah. Uh can I tell which way that is? It's difficult because there's so many, uh, so many tunnels. Alright. It's echoing. I'll say we've been seen. Beware. Um, but I will say if you do look you yeah. try to you kind of look through all of them, you do see a plate sized acid green eye kind of blink in the dark and then kind of scuttle off. I don't size of a plate? Yes. Big lizardy thing down here. Yeah, kind of like a weird, kind of skulking, hunchbacked creature. Ooh. Mr. Uh, Giant? About, about three feet tall. Oh. Mm. Three feet tall, skulking. Three feet tall, massive. plate size. Nice. That's, Is that the thing that's talking? And it eats. That sounds weird. What was the Ooh. language? Gothic? Oh, was, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He didn't say shush you this time. What was, what was it? Was language? it was speaking very kind of broken common tongue? It's kind of like <laughs> secrets, yes. Oh, no, truths, no, truths unveiled. Yeah, something. The one surrounded by royalty and nobility, yet is nobody arrives. Maybe you should. King would not be king. Yeah, go ahead, chat. To take right. good and evil again. Uh, oh, aberrations. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, divine, yeah, divine sense, so it's an aberration. But I'm also going to detect good and evil. I mean, we do want Not to get good aberrations, as if there were any. <laughs> okay. It's like right in front of mouth? It's coming from each of the tunnels. All right. There's more of them. Uh, I, I thought you'll, but you'll see right. the Amber Blade come yeah. up and be like, we have... Are you removing cool. uh, the light? Yeah. yeah. Okay. As the light Three. illuminates, you see more glittering lapis lazuli, yeah. blue veins, crusting gold, and you see more of those like large eyes kind of scuttle back from the darkness. So, so while you're saying that, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say to Melf, the, the blue stone mixed with gold is actually the raw form that gets melded into Venic. This is mana absorbing rock, not negatively, but good. Oh. This is the healthy part of mana, so don't worry about this. You can touch and use this. In fact, it might enhance you. But that's all I can tell you for now as I shine the sword over and show you all the little blinking eyes. It does look like that this Renica has been mined. I see. This makes sense. They're mining this to create more steel. Yes, to make the poison steel that she with nothing to her name comes here yes the one who will be ordered to kill the others yes uh, to what now um, no, what uh, well I look at the dear she who betrayed the duisk of valley uh, slaughtered the vulpine yes she comes everyone's looking at you is this yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think there's only one she here. In the oh, yeah, well, I mean, I say it. I was somebody doesn't know anything. Uh, I was taken care of by a the whisk named Valley. Don't assume. Pronouns. She that comes. <laughs> these things happen to know who we were. Yes, king who would not be king. Baby that born could be in blood. Blood. You're, th you're throwing 50 50 odds here. <laughs> Adira, you, so, what is you your name, us? creature? Yeah. Name? I had a name. Name gone, mine the blue, take the blue, cause name go away, yes. Blue? Is that what you're going to call yourself? It is a name. I'm, I'm okay. going to do something as good as any character, but I'm doing No it. different than Mel. Do I see this thing? True. And it's only one? Their, their, their words are echoing about, I would argue, about 120 feet away from you. About 120 feet away from me, and I... I feel like it's one thing one of them or more there are definitely more than that. <sighs> but one is speaking possibly okay what is your function here 
We were here to take the blue from the walls. Huh. Yes, mine it away. Mine until there need none left. Turn it to green, yes. But but it it did not like being taken, and now we are here. We stay here. No one come this way. So you were changed by this war? We sought secrets of magic, and so now we are cursed to forever. Forever eat those secrets and know things. The ley lines, they see all, they know all. We know everything that the ley lines speak of. We know that the one who calls himself Artificer, his son, his creation, not living now, yes. Yes, he is evil. I mean, is that evil or is that trying evil. to contain someone's pain? That's a whole nother, I mean, it's a whole nother story. It's not like murdering your friends. I did not murder my Creating friends. life. All here, friends. good oak, surrounded by those who would do things. Bright flame is surrounded by darkness. He who would go out of his way beyond the steps of mortality to bring back his halfling companion, yet he adventures with those who would throw aside their own employees at the slightest sign of coin. All right, John, now we have some very, very strict, uh, you know, employee uh, care packages. The I mean, caverns of truth there's a may severance. only be passed by those who will accept their own truths. Else you will not leave. You cannot leave. Can I pass? You hide nothing from no one. Similar to the Archmage. Neither of you have nothing to fear. The rest Ooh, hold double negative. darkness. Like I hold no such darkness. There is no such thing as fear in my blood. The fearless one who seeks fear beyond all else, for he does not know its sting and wishes it more than he wishes to feel anything. You've oh. read this from the ley lines. And by the way, he's like, shit. <laughs> that so, is that your kink, eh? Okay. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> we know much, much. Nothing escapes our gaze. And you see again, little glowing green eyes. Oh, yeah, now, now, I'm, now I'm like oh, well, blasting the light from Amber. Tell us what's now. the best thing we should do now to accomplish our mission of destroying the... Uh... You must find the Feral right. And? How, how shall we do this? Where do we look? We are blinded by the Rannick. Oh, all right. We only see what we must. Is um, there anyone right. coming after us right so, now? So, we got burdened. I'm just saying, it seems to me like we have two options, and that's we sort out our issues in a thoughtful, meaningful understanding of ourselves and the best versions of ourselves we could be, or we uh, take these guys out. I don't know. Where do you stand on this? I don't know how many there are. There are some secrets here. You want to face your secrets and how do you? How are you freed? All right. Oh, freed! Oh, the Renica has marked us as enemies of the world, of reality itself. We yes. have sinned against the great Opus of Imaria. We cannot be freed except by death, and even then, our souls are stained. Do you seek death? We seek knowledge, secrets. You seem to have all the secrets. We know much, yes. What else could we offer you? You must face your truth. And if you stand by and accept it, you will pass. He just starts Unsafe. walking toward them. He just starts walking toward them. He's, he wouldn't. He doesn't feel it. He doesn't what feel is it. your truth, Lohold Lindvander, Cecil of Crimeris? My truth. Yes. There's another green eye that kind of blinks, and you see about six or seven of them just kind of in the darkness. I've seen this movie. What is the secret of the veil? <laughs> secret of the veil. Your favorite color. <laughs> what is my what truth? Is airspeed velocity. Yes. 
man without and fear. Well. <laughs> he who holds the burden of the crown, yet not mm -hmm. the weight. Mm -hmm. Then you've spoken my truths. You accept this truth in your heart of hearts, saying cool. There is no way to not accept it. It is what I am and who I am. Why would I not accept that truth? Then you are free to join Bright Flame and Elminster. No, I the he... demon worshipper and the lover of mana. Ooh, lover of mana. I, I, that goes on the resume right away. Demon worshipper. What? <laughs> okay. <Help. laughs> All right. <laughs> right, aim right. with one who would convert with demons. What nonsensical. All right. Let go. Um, first off, yeah, you're right. You know, fire people in pursuit of profit. But I still maintain, well, you know, we got to be honest here. Yeah, profit. But that is still in the principle of trying to make the world a better place. It's Ends not justify the means, Cottage. Well, what I'm saying is the greater good. Well, again, and they all echo out the greater good, and then they burst out. Laughing. I'm not talking about some kind of amber way trying to make the world better for everyone, but again, profit is is something. Do I like profit? Yes, because it allows the company to continue. But the point to me is, it's not the gold that interests me; it's the science. And what I'm saying is, yeah, I pursue profit, and. I run my company like a company. Shockingly, I will fire someone if I have to fire someone. So, that part, I'm just saying the whole, like, I'm going to fire somebody to make a, a dollar. Maybe, but not because of the dollar. If that's what I have to do in pursuit of the goals, you know, my greater goals of arcane science, yeah, I'll do that. Now, the other part, that's a little harder. Um, I mean, doesn't matter to any of you, probably. But yes, my son died. My wife was not prepared for that. And it was very hard for her. And yes, I made a simulacrum. And I have to say, he's alive. He is still my son. He makes my wife happy. I don't know what he's going to become. We will see, but we have a child. And yes, I have not told the world. The world won't know, but my son was barely, hadn't truly formed before this happened. Life was taken away. Now there is a life in the world. I'm just trying to maintain a balance. Lord will speak out to the eyes. How is this a dark secret that should be inflicted upon a person? It is. Coming to terms with your truth, something that we know well. We know what we are, and those who pass through here must also and accept it. Oh, I accept the, the profit and pursuit of science thing. I mean, that part, is, as I said, that's not even a question. That's it. That is just a fact. I'm just saying your attitude about it is a little snarky. You make it seem like it's but, unfair for the decisions that he's made. They are his decisions to make. It is all our decisions in our lives to make. Indeed. But I mean, yeah. Do I have... Yeah, is my, is my son a simulacrum? Yes, my son is a simulacrum. I see. With Still no my shame, son. Marks. No shame. My creation. You may pass, son forger. Mm -hmm. Join Bright Flame and Elminster in the dark. So if he could work right. with demons, would he be Hellminster? Hell, oh, I thought that was you. Are you the lover? <laughs> no, no, man? I'm, uh, I'm a lover. the one who dances with chaos yet stays abreast of it. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Mm, boobies. <laughs> <laughs> and now then, betrayer of the whisk. Traitor to your kind. Adira can't look at Loholt. All are allowed to be redeemed, Adira. Sometimes you must do 
what you have to do in order to protect those that you love and in order to preserve your own life so that you know that you can fight further and fight harder even if it means committing an atrocity in your own soul. And it's never something I had ever wanted to ever face again. But yes, I was ordered under threat of my own life, knowing I would never be able to do all of the good that I've did in the years following and I did have to do what they said let her through do you find assurance in knowing your truth I find assurance in nothing you are a void an abomination and you accept this and thus may pass unscathed. I'll just walk across. We return to the darkness of the Renica Mines. Continue forward, heroes. You will find what you seek. Remain walking in the truth and abstain from the secrets and lies, else you become us. Well, as long as we're bringing that up, what was the kill your companions part? They were not my companions. No, I didn't <laughs> think that was the key. Steve led up to that second. There was a first part that uh, was killing the other companions, I, when I heard. Yeah, they did happen to drop that. So are these guys magic eaters? Is that kind of what I'm They're assuming? They're secret eaters. Secret eaters, okay. All right. I don't really have any good secrets to give them to. Not really. No, you would both you and Elvester. You're pretty, pretty straightforward. Yeah. I can yeah. tell you plenty of other secrets belonging <laughs> to other people, but yeah. 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 I don't believe that what they say comes to pass. Yeah. Unless without of her own volition. She would not have gone and done the things that she did. I I trust you. When we first met each other, there was a trepidation. You have grown since I've known you. I'd like to think so. So has she. Sure. Perhaps they spoke of not just things that are current, but the also things of things the past. that are, but the shadows of things right. that could be and will be. Clearly, that was a rough passage, and uh, I will let's just move on. say that I have fallen not victim because I was certainly not the victim either, mm -hmm. but I have fallen to answering orders before and I will not do that again. I believe you. Those I, do I put my trust in you. Yeah. We trust you. I found that the light of Celestian has helped me on many an occasion. I don't and know I will, who that is. Well, I will take time at our next rest to give you lots of information about Celestian and how he can truly improve your life. You have your yes, Do you have a pamphlet or something? <laughs> as long as you're uh, trancing, you know, you might as well. We don't have that here. <laughs> exactly. We can trance to some, yeah, some celestial. Get some trance, some relaxing. Do you have a minute to listen to a, <laughs> a word of celestial? <laughs> All right. Turn uh, and look forward. Quietly and continuing on, you do follow the rest of the tunnels which leads out into a broader mine that's been outfitted with the beams and the various other things you would expect there to be in a large mine. Continuing on, you find that the mine lets out, and beyond it, the flash of green and the clattering of boots, metal, and shouts in the common tongue. I'll hide my sword. Um... <sighs> It would appear you are emerging out into a courtyard surrounded by a stronghold. Uh, this uh, is we got not here anyway. good. That's not what we wanted to do. Uh, it huh? looks like we're coming up in the middle. Yeah, well, fair enough. Yeah. But we're inside. 
It, yeah. It, so I'll, so I'll talk to Saul up to the wall hidden. Um. And I will say that this mine, that blue gold crust starts to kind of eventually go away until you get to the point where the mine itself is just, that you can see where they've stripped hmm. as much of it out of it as they possibly could. So would a cloud kill work amongst all this green Rennick stuff? I mean, I'll also say this is a stronghold that is mm -hmm. quite large. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just saying, would a cloud kill spell still be effective? Even, I think it, even I think in it its, er its own area? And not yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm just wondering. Uh, I, just, I don't know this. Is there, are, can we see Rennick shards or anything in the ground? No. Like in the courtyard? Or is the courtyard filled with soldiers or something? There is a large green metallic uh, automaton with chains and harpoons mounted in its arms, patrolling mm. surrounded by several other soldiers in green armor and orange sashes making their way around the courtyard. Surrounding it are the walls flecked with green and the mortar. You see large siege weapons atop the towers, archers patrolling up and down, and a keep off to the side, which is also guarded by several uh, soldiers. I don't see how... There's no way we can penetrate this where we how are. Do Demons and elementals and stuff like that fare against this Rennick stuff. I have no it, idea. Mm, not well. I mean, okay. anything that is laden with mana. If it has, uh, yeah. So we'll, this will well, be depends. as a so, distraction. That would sure. work pretty well. Okay. So we got some. Yeah, we certainly got some options there. But so basically, we're standing sort of here is this courtyard. Do we need to cross it? Are there you other passages we sure. could take? I mean, like basically. Are we just, what I'm saying is, is there just back or forward, or are there more movement There options? are doors to several different kind of, uh, you seem to be in an inner courtyard, and you would imagine there's also an outer courtyard based on, the, you can see higher walls beyond the ones that you're currently in. Should I provide the distraction? Mm, hold on, hold on. I have another question. One would imagine that your friends are positioned about, you know, several hundred feet that direction, just outside the walls. What if we went back into a bit of the stripped out Rennick vines and cast a disintegrate upward and started collapsing the stronghold one tower at a time. You might be able to do that, but they will come after you. I think oh, what, of course. I think what the best course of action here is is that I can draw them away. I pull out the figurine of the Pegasus and I'll lead them. How many of them are you going to draw away? You're not going to draw away the automatons. Oh, they will not like me. But even if they're just paying attention, we can cross and You're talking and about the work. day and coup well, that upstart their emperor. Why don't we just disguise um, ourselves to look like these guys and walk... That is what I was... So, thinking. you, I think, would know right away that would work, except for the fact that there are so many of them. If he were to draw the majority of the military and security personnel away from the keep, you could get there with the disguise and they wouldn't think twice right. because they're on active duty, not checking right. every single person so I think that comes that, to the door. That's a great plan. Do I also, I've, I assume I have been in strongholds before. Yep. Do I know the basic layout and where I would need to go so to the nice get thing to about 66's the, office? The nice thing about the Otharians is that they are uniform in everything. That is meaning what I figured. every single structure they have ever built follows the exact same blueprint. <laughs> so, you fly off on your Pegasus. I am visibly a crumpled mess, and I will look to my sack and say that I swore I would never put this back on. If you can disguise yourselves, I, I can put my cloak first, on yeah. and act as the leader of our squad because I know what I'm talking about. And I will put the stupid green cloak back on. <laughs> disguise yourself? I will. Yes, yes. I, 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 I will. Right. Uh, and do yep. this. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, nice. No, Therian. I will, uh... Never take swear not to do things. You always have to break your It's word. true. I'm going to take the cog of time, and turn it, and then you see my eyes just kind of spin in some backward time motion. You kind of shift in and out for a second, and then you feel like the uh, your, your body kind of just, like, weirdly distort, and then I'm going to give you a bardic inspiration. Huh. This bardic inspiration can be used like normal bardic uses, but in addition, you can use it to speed up the casting time of your spells. Huh. Meaning, 
a standard action spell can become a bonus action. Okay. And a bonus action spell like Misty Step mm -hmm. can be reaction. Right. Right, reaction yeah. So you get this for the next 10 minutes of your journey. Awesome. Use, and then I will do the same for you. Okay. You haven't used it to speed it up yet, but I'll mm -hmm. do the same for you. Mm -hmm. So you have one now, so mm -hmm. you can take that die if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Would you like one as well? Sure. You just speed it up for you, and I will give you this one. That's my glass. Excellent. Wow, you know what? I'll give you this green one. Excellent. There you are. All right, All right, it's three of my bardic inspirations gone. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> one, two, three. It would be prudent for me to draw my sword. Or have um, visible? Yeah, that would help a lot. You, you don't have a sash. Eltherians? I mean, I do. Do you still have it on you? I oh my god, she's going to wear eight? I, you may not want to wear I eight. I wouldn't want to wear eight, but... What if it's upside down? <laughs> Google. <laughs> what number are you going for? <laughs> Does everybody wear a sash? <laughs> Every yeah, yeah. Eltherian yeah, soldier one. wears a sash with, with, a, a, with number. a number on it. And also, you don't know that I am number eight, yes. but yes. <laughs> what number would you like me to wear? Would yeah, you? Any, any suggestions? Should we be like, what? 200 or something? 29? You probably want to go with a reasonably okay. high number to just not like, cause attention yeah, to yourself. Like 146. Right. No, 1640. Five. Yeah, so like a four-digit number. Yeah. Right. Oh, great. Okay. All right. Fine. I'm Mr. Melf. You'd be 1644. I'm 1644. Merrick. 1645. Great. <laughs> These Ethereans <laughs> use reactionary methods to fight. Stall them of the reaction. Give them reason to think twice, and you'll get your spell through. All right. Remove the blades from their hands. You'll get your spell through. Chopping. Cast while they're actively holding their blades and paying attention to you with the ability to react to you, and likely your spells will not get pushed through unless you overpower them. That's my only advice in fighting these people. I've fought them many times, and this is how you fight them. Mm. And remember that if someone were to betray you. Mm. <laughs> not worried about that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just like... All right. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. So. Step on her while she's down. <laughs> oh my god. And with that, uh, he will pull out the, the little Pegasus figurine. Good thing you he didn't use that. Good, yeah, good luck. Having twisted the knife. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to do a, one, a, a couple things in this, in this moment here. So I will, um, I will have to do this very quickly. Good luck. And so I will just basically like step out, call it, and like get on it right away. And, just and fire immediately up. you start to see things start to like, people start to know. Yeah, I fire things. up immediately. But I'm going to have my sword in full glow. And when I get high enough and close enough to the team, I'm going to suspend and take the other companions and leave that conversation for later because I know what we're doing for, for, mm -hmm. for, for the shooting purposes. Uh, I will I will uh, suspend and talk to them to get them to help cause the distraction. Mm -hmm. And then with the suspend, you guys don't see anything. You just see sure. my fly up and then in a moment later, other things are going to happen. And then I will just fly around enough to get the ballistas ready. Yeah, oh yeah, they're getting those ballistas loaded. They're rotating them I will, around. You I will shout, shout commands like, get ready it. to fight, Silver Sword! And I'll give all these fake like things to just get them completely. If you like a big a bardic performance check, I was like, basically going to perform like I am rallying the cry of a hidden army that's about Let's to do spring that. on them. And the amount of your success will depend on how efficient of a distraction. I'm going to do it this way. I want to do it this way. In the, in the thing. I will I got this audibly delicious to spell die. I would still call him 66. Right, so roll. I would Ooh. say protect 66 and and Ooh. and char and you follow me to where right, I sure. will charge Absolutely. to protect him. Got it. Okay. Now here we go. It's my performance. Oh. oh. <laughs> These are meant for, wait, for showing not just for say, yeah. Let's wait. Let's wait. Um <laughs> okay. Hold on. I have, on, a, I have a hold flash on. of genius. Wait, wait. You oh! Can... <laughs> I still want it, but but I do gain uh, the ability to reroll with my sword. So I'm going to do that first. Okay. Because oh yeah, you barely use that. You Amber never Fang is it. Amber Fang is yeah. the is sort of influence. Okay. Oh, that's much so better. That plus much my better. performance. I'm currently sitting at ten twenty nine. Want to give me a flash of genius, just in case? Sure. Why not? It's a plus uh, five. You know, I mean, I think yeah, it's plus five. I think we just need to sort how's of a, amplify how the does sound. A, uh, how does a right solid thirty four performance sound? A thirty four causes you all to watch as platoon after platoon <laughs> charge, screaming, "It's low hold, kill him!" And then I will fly off. All right. Good luck. And that's where we'll end this session. All right. All right. Mm -hmm.
no. what you gonna do what you gonna do good luck guys <laughs> thanks yeah thanks for painting us yeah, yeah. and Have that's how you get out to die yeah. I said see you later guys <laughs> yeah, my plan worked all along get him so is this guy a rogue okay. or what